Come on, say hi. Hello, 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 hello. Big excite. Big fucking excite. Okay, this is gonna be a little different from other streams. Are we, <laughs> first of all, welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, be before we jump in, I have not booted up the game at all. It finished installing like 10 minutes ago. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm super excited. <laughs> so, for the record, big disclaimer, big disclaimer. Uh, normally I do not like, uh, or normally I don't stream games, uh, blind, um, for things I'm, like, really excited about. In this case, I have a huge investment in Kingdom Hearts. Um, you know, the plot's kind of a big deal. Really excited to see how this is gonna unfold and all that. This stream, however, um, alerts have been muted. It's going to be muted for the entirety of the stream, so if you guys subscribe or donate, uh, chances are I will not be able to get to it, and it, it will pop up on stream, but, um... Um, you know, I'm not gonna be able to hear much, if anything, at all. So I really discourage you guys from subscribing or donating during the stream just because you're not gonna get a ton of recognition. I do apologize for that in advance, but I want to focus on the game today, all right? So here's the deal before we jump all in, okay? Uh, what I have heard is that roughly Melody of Memory is about, it takes about less than 10 hours to get through the story. Uh, you do not have to complete, like, all of the songs to get through the whole story and stuff. Apparently, you can skip through a lot of songs. Um, we're gonna just play it casually. I'm not aiming to really 100% it on today on this stream. Really, the goal is to get through the story, um, and then, you know, later down the line, we'll stream more of it, uh, and aim for some high scores and more difficulties and all that. So do not expect me to go through all this and try to 100% all the songs on really high difficulties. We're here to learn. We're here to enjoy, absorb it first time and everything. Okay? Uh, and on top of that, uh, just to set everyone's expectations, uh, for those who do not know, uh, I don't know the details of the plot, but it's not that hunky. It's, this game is really designed to be a, uh, you know, it's a rhythm game, uh, for the most part and stuff. It's really gameplay focused, but, uh, the plot is, uh, supposed to be kind of a refresher and a lead-in into a bigger Kingdom Hearts game. So, don't expect everything to be super conclusive. There's, it's a Kingdom Hearts plot. God knows it's gonna leave us with our heads scratching at the end. Uh, so yeah, plot-wise, it's not massive. Um, but you, we're gonna we're gonna figure out what the heck is all about. And from what I've heard, it's you know it's good. So big excite, big excite. Okay. Um, are you guys ready? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you ready to plow through? Ready to start the video game and hear the music and let it fill up our souls? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, speaking of which, um, yeah, the DMC, the DMC strikes and stuff. So, um, this is a little tricky just because within the last two weeks or, you know, month really, uh, Twitch has really started cracking down on music on streams. Now, Square Enix has been pretty lenient about people streaming their games, and I'm sure they're very aware, um, that people have, you know, intend to stream this and stuff, and they're not really known to be that aggressive with strikes or, or, or takedowns and stuff, but there are some songs in here that I know for a fact Disney would like to strike, um, and, uh, the, you know, being like Let It Go or like uh, Sanctuary and Passion, like all the famous ones. Uh, so I don't know, I like, I'm already risking it, um, streaming this and stuff because of the, the, you know, the DMCAs are scary and I don't know what all is technically like gonna get striked or not. Also, did you know gaming, thank you so much for the raid. Holy shit, thank you so much. Perfect timing. We're just about to get started. Thank you, thank you. Everyone, grab a seat. Welcome, welcome. Uh, introductions, I guess. Um, I, yeah, I'm Super Butterbuns. I am a YouTuber and streamer. Uh, YouTube is currently on hiatus, but we're here streaming anyway. And uh, yeah, we're going to do Melody of Memory Blind for the first time. I'm a big Kingdom Hearts enthusiast. Big excite. Thank you so much, Janelle. Really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, as, as the... Uh, strikes or the copyrights go i don't know big up in the air anything that seems like you know really popular or it could get slammed really hard uh we might have to mute it and i might have to put something behind it so you know we're gonna play it a little safe um but we you know who knows <laughs> who knows all right okay let's do are we, are we excited we're we gonna hear the jazz for the first time or not really we've already heard the opening track but <sighs> I'm excited, guys. I normally don't do these kinds of live reactions on stream and stuff with, like, you know, heavily invested. So forgive me if I start, like, geeking out or, uh, you know, I'm not paying attention to the chat. I'm just locked into the game. All right, enough talking. Let's do it. Let's start it. Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memory. Let's roll. Check it. Yeah, come on. There we go. Mute the first song? Okay. 
All right. Okay. The assets in this game are adorable, by the way. I've, I have to reiterate that like a million times, but... <clears throat> All right. Hi, Disney. Please, please don't beat my ass with the DMCA. I beg. Oh, God, I beg. <laughs> I feel like I'm shoplifting. Like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be doing this. Oh, ain't that nice, everybody. A little pep in your step. Christmas came early this year. All right, let's adjust the music a little bit. So, you know, to avoid, um, <laughs> again, getting my channel deleted, um, we're going to turn down the music a little bit. So, just a smidgen. Just to where, like, make it a little hard for the system. Keep them on their toes, you know? All right, how does that sound compared to my voice? Am I too loud? Is the game too quiet? Is there one chance to really adjust everything? <laughs> da, 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 da. It's good, it's good. You sound good? Do I sound, are you sure? Do I sound really good? All right. Ah, oh, oh God, this is such a great remit. Ep I have to say, every time, you, you, you think, like, either Simple and Clean or Dearly Beloved can't be remixed anymore and stuff, like, we've already heard of them. No, every time, the song only surprises me. It sounds fresh every fucking time. All right. Let's go in. Oh, that's so weird that there's no, like, you know, new game, continue, start. Like, no, nah, it's just all here. Just hit the button. All right, is it time to mute? Uh, oh, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> We're muting. <laughs> Please! Oh, baby! Don't go. Uh, si hold on. Uh, uh, simple and clean is the way that you make it me feel tonight. It's hard to let go. Okay, hold on. Uh... You're kidding me! <laughs> Um, too many things, baby, you're all I need, <laughs> oh no, you smiled to me <laughs> and said, don't worry, do you know I love you, I don't remember all the lyrics, despite knowing this song for years, I'm kinda a fake fan, oh dear god, I'm killing time, cause I don't want to get DMCA when you walk away you don't hear me say please <laughs> oh baby don't go simple I don't know how to fucking am I hitting the right buttons anyway I don't know can I fail the opening <laughs> crap I forgot where we are in the song <laughs> hold on shit ah oh, I'm trying to do this with one hand Feel tonight, it's hard to let go. Yeah, we did it. All right, yay, and we're done. All right, Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memory, <laughs> we're in. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, every adventure ahead of you, from battles to encounters with friends, unfold through melodies and uh, me memories. Some of these adventures take place in field battle music stages. Okay. Some of this I already know because I did play the demo a little bit. Um, honestly, I haven't played the demo since I streamed it, so I'm a little rusty on some of the mechanics. Gonna have to refresh ourselves a little bit. It's gonna be a time, guys. It's gonna be a real hoot. Okay. <clears throat> Again, thank you guys so much for the resubs and the donations. Again, I do really discourage y'all from uh, subbing today on this stream though, just because everything is muted. All right. <clears throat> Uh, in these stages, you battle um, enemies as you run on the musical staff to reach the end and clear the song. Okay. You can use different buttons to attack, jump, and use abilities and more. Uh, time your actions to match the timing uh, guides that show you, okay, when to press a button. I know this. Okay, cool. Okay. <clears throat> 
Are raid alerts muted as well? Yes, it's it's kind of like a one size fits all button. All right. Uh. All right. Going through it. There we go. And. All right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, try, here we go. So before I played this on uh, PS4, I am playing it on Switch. Uh, oh god. There we go. And jump and glide. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there we go. Hitting the wrong buttons. Honestly, you know what? Because, like, I don't have a ton of experience with Nintendo titles, and, like, the Switch is really my first Nintendo console. I still get fucked up with the button layouts. I'm like, where's B? <laughs> the fuck is that? All right, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Map ship. All right, there we go. And jump. There we go. Bum 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 bum. Dee 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 dee. I really guess I'm, I'm just like sliveling in my chair. This is not gonna help me. I'm gonna get fucked up. Uh, I have a. I really don't know if I'm gonna get that good at this game. Like I worry for myself because oh my god, there's a lot of shit on screen. One of the more difficult aspects of this game, in my opinion, is um. Just, like, kind of blocking out all the extra noise and shit and just keeping track of the actual buttons I'm supposed to be pressing. Because there's a lot of- there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of shiny shit on screen. <clears throat> Everyone asks where B is, but no one asks how B is. Mm, these are the questions. No, I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> All right, let's get comfortable in gamer position, ready to go. Uh, yeah, but for the record, guys, we are going to be, um, you know, trying to, I'm not, I really don't want to get spoiled in chat or anything like that. Uh, so we are going to be turning on, uh, follower only mode and emote only mode, kind of toggling it on and off through the stream. So, uh, my mods, uh, be sure if it gets too hectic or anything like that, or you're seeing like a ton of spoilers or anything, um, just go ahead and turn on to emote only for a little bit, and we'll just kind of toggle it on and off as we see fit, all right? Thank you, guys. Okay, HP decreases, some enemies require multiple attacks, yada yada. Okay, for more tips and tricks, go to the tutorial and help the config- Okay, all right. Tips and tricks and people who don't know shit about this game. Oh, here we are! Finally, the word- Okay, yeah! Pick a world and a song to get started. Uh, when controlling the gumming ship, press B to return to the main menu. Okay, okay. Alright, wow. Alright, wow, it just starts. Uh, cleared songs? Okay. Alright. Oh, this is so fucking cute. Okay, we- oh, we need stars to get through the gates. Okay, hold up. We got... Ooh. Ooh, look at all this shit. Ooh. Damn. Oh, baby, she pack him. Oh, we going places. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, all right. Can I? Yeah, let's dash. Yay. Oh, God. You guys missed the KH2 mini map? Here it is. Tyler, how is your rhythm? My rhythm's all right. Um,. I can say I keep I can keep rhythm better than most people. Or the average the average Joe, I guess. <clears throat> Alright. Let's just work our way through then. 
Uh, missions. Okay, clear without items. Uh, score. Ooh, god, man, that's a lot of. That's a fuck ton of numbers. Get seventy percent. Okay, good, sure. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we're gonna do. We're gonna do standard probably throughout the entire thing. Um, some of them we might do. Uh, I'm proud. I really just want to gauge the base challenge. Uh, yeah. Also, you know, I'm not eager to burn my fingers off here. I have. I got nothing to prove to nobody. It's so cute. Oh my god, Donald's got little hard eyes. Oh, we're beach bitches now, yo. Yeah, eat those notes up, Sora. He's a big boy. He's a growing boy. Oh, shit. No, no, my fucking thing! <laughs> no! Oh, great. Now I'll never be pro gamer extreme. Okay, hold on. My brain's fucking up. I get the jump and the attack mixed up. Again, where the fuck is B? Alright, I gotta get the timing on that. I'm fucking it up. Oh, shit. It's really just the jump on ones. There we go. There we are! Alright. Am I through? Did I do it? Did I win? <laughs> what do the green notes taste like? Uh, green. Green flavored. You know, it's just like how things are blue and they're blue flavored. That's the only way you can really describe it. B, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, very nice. Okay. <clears throat> uh, new field track song available to play. Yay! Wow, all right. Uh, team menu unlock? Cool. Um, man, this, okay, this really, you really can just plow through this thing, huh? Uh, all right, each one has three missions. Complete these missions to collect a star, which you need to open up gates. Okay. To open up the ga uh, blue gates, collect the matching colored uh, stars. Gates that require gold stars uh, can be unlocked with stars of any color. Okay, hold on. To open up blue gates, collect the matching colored star. Okay, green stars, I guess. Uh, gates that require gold stars can be unlocked with stars of any color. Okay. To open up red gates, you will need to clear a certain world or unlock certain gates. All right. Um... Sure. Wait, now, hold on. Uh. Uh, you can change the difficulty items right before you start a song. Um. Okay, yeah, just select the difficulty. I know that. Press okay to select potions and other items you use automatically as you play. Thanks. Uh. Alright, let's do standard then. I just know this song as the song that Riku kicks my ass to. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so fucking cute, yo. Wait, hold on, there we go. Uh, I really gotta fuck up. My timing needs work, yo!
more green, more delicious, nutritious food. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, shit. There we go. I really am- it's really the jumps that are messing me up. <laughs> Good. I love my happy boys. <laughs> the jump attacks are offbeat. Well, it's it's really like, you know, it's not a... You gotta go with the ring. That's what I've noticed. You can't just... You can't jump in the air and immediately hit it. You have to wait until the circle closes and stuff. It's a lot of filtering. I guess, like, what am I really supposed to be looking at here? I worry for months we get to the late game. I'll get better. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. Also, yeah, with the, uh, my brain just, like, locks up in some of these. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll get better as we go. Thank you. All right. Return to the World Tour. A cutscene. <gasps> by a mysterious voice. Sora stepped through the door that okay, yeah, so from what I've heard, some, most of this plot is really, like, Kairi reiterating the story from her perspective. Um, and then most of the actual new plot is near the end. Just to, just to clarify that now. With a man from another world. Meanwhile, Donald and Goofy received a letter from Nikki asking them to find the holder of a certain key. <clears throat> All right. Oh god, there's a new plot? Yes, there is. Hello, Jeff, how you doing? Um, yeah, no, for the plot of this game, um, it is mostly a recap of, uh, you know, the events past. It, it's really like, you know, going through the memories of all the past games, through the music and all that shit. But there is, um, plot stuff at the end, uh, that is supposed to be leading into the next major Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, that isn't a rhythm game, basically, because, oh my god, and... <laughs> The amount of people, and I hope this calms down now that the game's out. I'm just so tired of people complaining about it. Um, people being like, throwing their hands up in the air and be like, Why is Kingdom Hearts getting a rhythm game? It doesn't make any fucking sense. And it's just like, okay, well, no, it's, people I mean, have it wanted the rhythm game for a really long ass time. Banana shoes. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, no. Hold on, did I forget to save that? Uh, weird, thank you so much for the dollar. Appreciate it. I do, I'm supposed to have text-to-speech off, though. Hold on. So why do we figure things out now? Um... <clears throat> hmm. Did I save it? Okay. Yeah, hold up. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for the biddies. That appreciate it. Yeah, I just can't have them. I just can't be having the bot going off while we're trying to do all the music. Um. Yeah. No. But the thing that like. There are people who are legit mad that this exists and also acting like a another, like, like Kingdom Hearts is never going to be an action series ever again. Like, the, the people are just convinced that, like, oh my god, this is it, this is where the series is going next, holy shit, Kingdom Hearts is ruined. Like, no, guys, this is, like, an in-betweener game. There's gonna be other games past this! <laughs> um, so, like, you know, oh, not to mention, like, Kingdom- like, Remind came out this year. Like, Cage 3 came out last year, but Remind came out this year. Kingdom Hearts 3 completed this year, and then we got this game. So, there's another Kingdom Hearts game coming. Uh, not to mention the plot that they do put in this game, you know, if, if it's a- if you're concerned about, like, oh, do I have to play- do I have to play this game in order to understand the future? Probably not. No, you can just either watch the cutscenes online, or, um... That's really it, you know? <laughs> and I'm sure the future games will be happy to catch people up uh, as to what happened in this one, you know? Anyway, that's just my beef and stuff. All I'm gonna say is, is that if you don't want to play this, you don't have to. No one is forcing you. It's it's okay. <laughs> and this is and th this game is not taking time away from other Kingdom Hearts titles. I can guarantee you that. All right, moving on though. Uh, 
Hoodoo. Okay, yeah, spooky time. This game feels like a tribute and a send off from the Dark Seeker Saga. That's exactly what it is. It's a nice little, you know, package of like, here's the entire adventure, and we're gonna, you know, replay the uh, reminisce through the music and relating into phase two. Uh, because the more has referred to this, or the, you know, stuff coming up as Kingdom Hearts phase two. Um, shit. Did I, oh, missed it. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, come on, come on. Sora, stick in the air! Ah! Okay, but I, I, you really just have to hold it, don't you? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, hold up. Uh, uh, mm mm. Okay, ooh, man, my brain is really locking up on that. Ah, okay, hold up. There we are. <clears throat> uh, jump. Mm. Yeah, the timing, you really gotta follow those circles closely. You can't just go based off the visual. Or at least, like, where they are on the map. And I missed that. No, damn. We're fucking up. <laughs> Me out here being like, May wow, maybe I should have played the demo a little bit more. <laughs> maybe I should have practiced. <laughs> All right. Uh, da, da. There we are. Ah, oh, God. Okay, this is this is uh, getting fun. There we missed it. <clears throat> Lost my chain. <sighs> Kingdom Hearts dancing all night. God, I hope there's a dancing game at some point. Like, unpopular opinion, maybe, I don't know. But if we're getting the rhythm game, why not? Let's get the dancing game. The amount of, like, model videos I've seen where people just make the Kingdom Hearts, you know, cast just do all these synchronized dances. Yeah, at this point, give it to us. A for effort, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Collector's cards obtained for collecting 200 rhythm points, thank you. Another cutscene. One fateful night, darkness consumed Destiny Islands. As Riku disappeared into the darkness, my heart managed to- Axel twerking? Yes, please. <laughs> the darkness overwhelmed Sora, and he awoke in an unfamiliar town. I'm I'm honestly very curious to see how Kyrie is going to um tell the rest of the plot because, you know, the further you get, the <laughs> gets a little more complicated. I think, um, when it comes to getting into Kingdom Hearts, uh, the best way I described it is, um, you know, it's like, if you want to do it properly, it's kind of like getting into a pool. You have to kind of start from the shallow end and get into it and, you know, so you can swim properly. You can't body flop into the deep end with this game because you're just going to start drowning. That's how it, like, really, with the Kingdom Hearts plot, that's how I describe it. Because, like, you know, at this point... There's over 10 plus games. It's a big plot. It's a big ass plot. But, you know, Kingdom Hearts 1 starts off simple enough and it gradually gets more deep as you get in. Um, and now here we are entering fucking phase two after almost 20 years of games and it's still going. And we still don't have answers for some of this shit. Uh, okay, that's complete. Thank you. Oh, 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 okay, we gotta, yeah, okay, we'll do the zoom out look. That's hot. Uh, cool. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Kari starts the DDD, slams some hard liquor to the table. Okay, so. <laughs> That's really it.
Dun 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 Wait, come on. There we go. I always think I have to, like, press it twice, you don't? I don't think. This game is a walking DMCA. It sure is, and we're taking the risk anyway, baby. The things I do for y'all. <laughs> Bun da 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 oh, shit. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, seriously, if my Twitch just d does disappear suddenly overnight, I think you guys know what happened. Worth it. And I'm going to write a strongly written email to both Twitch and Square Enix and be like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Free promotion, baby. MCA means Disney. It stands for Disney. <laughs> Subject, what the fuck? Email. Like, ugh, like seriously. Well, I think we can all agree. I mean, to all my, you know, my streamer pals out there and all that. This is an absolute fucking nightmare headache. And it's like, it's one of those things where Twitch can't really make that many excuses as to like why they don't have a better system in place to protect creators and to dispute these things and help us manage our stuff better. When other streaming sites have these systems in place, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, so, you know, this is the price you pay for getting popular and Twitch becoming like one of the biggest platforms for entertainment and stuff or live entertainment. Uh, but they got to get their shit together because like they can't expect creators to keep up with this and like not have it affect our content. Um, and obviously I'm not the only one screaming at, you know, the high hell about this copyright stuff. Um, but... Yeah, the laws on, on copyright, especially in a digital age, are, are really outdated, and they're not suited for this kind of, um, uh, I guess, like, entertainment field or, like, whatever the fuck all this stuff is kind of morphed into. Copyright law needs to be updated in general, and on top of that, Twitch needs to do a much better job um, communicating with creators on how to protect themselves and also put decent tools in place so we can protect ourselves and stuff, because, like... You know, this stuff is scary. Like, the, the fa especially the fact that, like, people are getting their channels dinged for content they have already deleted. Like, that's just, that's just inept. You're just being inept. Like, <laughs> like, tw I don't, mm, I'm getting nervous for Twitch because it's like, this is, this is a, you know, it's been, it's been an amazing um, site and service for such a long time and seeing it nosedive this hard so quickly for something that they have the money and resources to truly handle is very frustrating. Um, I've honestly thrown my hands up with the other, all the DMC nonsense. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, DMCA laws definitely need to be changed. Yeah, it, it, it's a huge, I mean, like, you know, because YouTube's had tons of growing pains and years of, co you know, um, user and creative complaints to create better systems to protect both the copyright holders and the creators who do fall under fair use and, you know, people who shouldn't be getting striked for anything. So, yeah, YouTube spent a long time and a lot of money making their system better. Um, and, you know, they have a decent dispute system and you're, you're not really at risk at, like, you know, obviously YouTube is not perfect at all. It's fucking massive. But I think Twitch has really got to set their game up if they want to, you know keep their head above water and not lose creators to sites that actually give a fuck, you know? Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's that on that. Moving on. <laughs> Long story short, fuck the DMCA system. I do what I want. Um, country girls make do. Um, 
Uh, going off topic real quick, what's your take on the Demon Souls remake? What's good? Uh, what's the good and what's bad? Okay, so for those who don't know, I did get a PS5 and I have been playing the Demon Souls remake um, on the side. I will be streaming a second playthrough. Um, I didn't feel that eager to stream a first playthrough because like I've already played the game. Uh, and you know, it was just, it's just prettier. So the thing about the Demon Souls remake is that it's, it's so stupidly faithful. Um, and I mean that and like, they've, they, they didn't really change jack shit about it, which is kind of great. Um, it is the exact same game through and through. It just has a considerably better aesthetic. The load times are stupid fast. And there's a lot of quality of life changes that didn't, like, that they didn't have to keep in. Like, being able to use multiple items in the menu. Uh, they fucked around with the weight system a little bit. Just the stuff that's just, like, there was flubby things in the original that could have easily been tuned up. But for the most part, everything's intact. Um, so it's really good. It's really fucking good. As a remake goes, um, it gets A plus points out the ass for being completely faithful to the original in every way. Um, so yeah, we'll be playing that later. Um, once I get through my first playthrough and we'll do a second playthrough and stuff and we'll talk about it then. So yeah. All in all, PS5, very cool. Demon Souls, also very cool. All right. <clears throat> a lot of games coming out this month, y'all. It's like hard to keep up. Oh, the absolute classic. All right, I, please don't, no one fall asleep, I beg. <laughs> uh, mm. Da 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 All right, chat, I have a question. Uh, what is everyone's favorite original- Oop, fuck that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, everyone's favorite original Kingdom Hearts world. Um, you know, not the Disney worlds, but original, like Traverse Town, Twilight Town, Daybreak Town. A lot of towns in this one, I've noticed. Because for me, it actually might be Traverse Town. Twilight Town's a close second. Oh shit, I messed up. <laughs> Whoops! Okay, what? Okay. <laughs> there we are. There we go. Very nice. Uh, Deep Junk. <laughs> Jesus. Deep Jungle, really? <laughs> Daybreak Town? Good choice. Daybreak Town is very cute. The clock. God knows we love that fucking clock. God knows the Mora loves clocks. Gotcha. Woo! Uh, Radiant Garden? Oh yeah, oh, mmm. So many good towns. Oh, is it Gradient Gardens? <laughs> it's Gradient Gardens with a bunch of gradients. But, um, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. Getting, getting a good amount of A's. This is, like, considerably better grades than I ever got in high school, so I'll take it. I was a solid, uh, B student in high school. Graduated with a big, fat 3.0. <laughs> you know? Uh... So this is a pleasant change. All right. Thank you, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, for making me feel smart. Uh. Okay, I cleared it. I don't need all the stars, right? Here's the thing: I don't need to get all three of the stars to continue. Am I am I correct on that? I just I just have to get the stars. I just have to get them, right? Uh... Yeah, just get the stars? Okay, cool. I get, we're not- we're not aiming for perfect here. Okay, we're, we're just going through it. You don't need them all, okay. Perfect. I hate- I hate, um... I'm- well, I'm, I'm relieved that they didn't put, like, massive requirements through the plot. It's like, you have to 100% every single song to get the- like, no, fuck that. Ugh.
Ba -da -da. Da -da. The absolute classic. I mean, this whole thing is classic, but you know. Slap. Woo! <laughs> I said, oh, I, I, I said laugh. Yeah, I know what I said. I know what I'm about. Oh yeah, once you once you kind of really get used to it, though. I mean, there is like this is odd, or not super odd, because like there's the uh, the Final Fantasy rhythm game and stuff. But um, like <sighs> this stuff does take a little bit to get used to. But once you're in the flow, yo, you're in the flow. We're flying. I can't wait for the WAP DLC in this game. <laughs> Could someone do a WAP remix with the Kingdom Hearts instrumental sound? Please. <laughs> I love it when they King Heart like Kingdom Heartsify songs. It's very cute. Bum bada bum bada bum. Hmm. <laughs> Too long for the <laughs> TLDR for this game. Yokoshima Mora deserves a raise. She deserves like a gold statue somewhere in like a, a park or something like that. God bless that woman. All right. <clears throat> Donald Duck better be doing the WAP dance or I'll promote me ask for a refund. Speaking of, hold on, let me, um, let me do this now before I forget. Hold up. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. There we go. Also, Bunch, did you notice that Billie Eilish is a Kingdom Hearts fan? I did. Now, I, here's the thing. I didn't, I don't know if that was a sheer coincidence. Like, you know, people put symbols on their clothes all the time and, you know, don't really know what the heck they mean and, and all that. But considering how old Billie is, um, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, Billie Eilish released uh, a new music video of her dancing in a mall and stuff with a new song. Um, and she's wearing a sweater and it's got a big ass heartless symbol on it that's uh, inverted. Well, it's like it's like orange and red instead of black and uh, red. But it's the Kingdom Heart. It's the heartless symbol. So everyone's like, holy fuck, Billie Eilish is a Kingdom Hearts fan. Uh, I don't know if that confirms anything, but it is cute. Like either it's either she is a fan and that's like a little subtle thing or she has no fucking idea and she's just wearing a designer sweater and the person who made the designer sweater is a Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> who knows? But um, yeah, no, we stand Billie Eilish. Um, good, you know, good for her. She's a good bean. All right. <clears throat> All right. She has to be. She has to. Yeah, seriously, she has to know. Who doesn't know what Kingdom Hearts is at this point? What Gen Zer doesn't know what Kingdom Hearts is? Kingdom Hearts is like. Goes deep, yo. Da -da 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 -da. This this music specifically just reminds me of the um the armor spin attack where he, you know <laughs> gears up his arms and just flings them around and stuff and then I get killed several times. Uh 
I was so bad at Kingdom Hearts 1 when I was younger. Like, looking back at it, and, like, even now, as an adult playing it, it's like, yeah, there's some stuff, there's some hard stuff in Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, if you don't know everything, it's pretty tough. Um, and I'm like, how the fuck did I get through any of this as a child? Like, it, uh, to give you context, guys, it took me two years to beat Kingdom Hearts 1 when I was, I think, I got it when I was, like, either six or seven. And, um, I beat it when I was eight. Like, because I chipped away at it. I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. I was running around in circles, had no idea where I was supposed to go. And when I actually figured out where I was supposed to go, I would, you know, be stuck on the boss for, like, days because I was fucking bad at the game. And I didn't know how the, you know, how the abilities worked, how the items worked, how keyblade switching really worked. I couldn't read. I was basically illiterate. Um, so, somehow, miraculously, I got through the game. And I, I remember... Hold on. Whoa, 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 God. Here we go. Um, I had the Kingdom Hearts 1 strategy guide, which wasn't much help, because, again, illiterate child. I have pictures to go by, so the only real help I had in Kingdom Hearts 1 was the pictures, um, you know, to give me some sense of direction and stuff. And every now and then, I would have my, my parents read an excerpt from it so I could figure out what the fuck was happening. Like, um, advice on how to beat Ansem or something like that, because I was stuck on that for forever. But I do remember this vividly. Um, beating Kingdom Hearts 1 for the first time, uh, I, I, I want to say I was eight, but, um, I had been, you know, grinding to, to, to beat Ansem and stuff, and, uh, it was, a uh, it was 11, yeah, it was like 11.48 at night. I just remember this specifically because I remember looking at the clock and because it was a, such a huge moment of my life. I was like, oh, because it was the first like major game I'd ever beaten and I'd worked so hard to beat it. Um, but it was 11, like 48 at night, finally beat Ansem and I like was in complete shock. I had never felt adrenaline that much in my entire life and I got up ran into my parents' bedroom, like, flung open the door, yelled, I did it really loudly, and then ran back into my room and, like, cried watching the final cutscene and stuff. Um, so, yeah, big moment for me. <laughs> really, really made an impression. Um, Marilyn, by the way, they get to the $7. Um, thank you, thank you, saying, whoa, 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 the Super Butter Buns playing Bingdom up. <laughs> Bingdom Bards doing during my lunch break at this time of day. Loca uh, located exclusively in twitch.tv. Marilyn, thank you so much for the seven bucks. Thank you, thank you. Everyone else uh, with the biddies. Um, Baltier, thank you so much for the 700 biddies. Zigbar with the 100 biddies. Um, let's see. 95 Bow, thank you so much for the 29 months. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, also, Baltier with the 28 months. Uh, and I'm Cloud Busting also with the 28 months. Techmaster with the nine months. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back and congrats on the Twitch, baby. Burning, thank you so much for 39 months. Oh my god. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and then Hawkeyes with the whole year. Oh gosh. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, whew. And you guys went all out. Holy shit. I cannot. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up on this stream. But thank you guys so much for the subs and the biddies. We're going to keep on going through, though, because we have this whole thing to get through tonight. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Can we get a pog for baby buns beating ants? Oh my, I mean, like, you know, if you watch me do that fight now, um, and some phase two, you know, where it's just Sora and you're fighting him, um, with his, uh, shadow form and all that. I know that so well. I know that fight so well because as a kid, I was under leveled and didn't have proper equipment. So I just taught myself not to get hit in that fight. Uh, and, you know, that's why I'm pro gamer extreme today. Oh, <laughs> uh, but seriously, I, um, you know me, I have a huge affinity for Kingdom Hearts for solid reasons, grew up with it, I'm legally obligated to give a fuck, it's a huge part of, uh, you know, I would say, like, the, the, uh, the highlight of my, my childhood, really, this, this series brought me a lot of joy during a lot of, you know, sad stuff. I think that's why I, I really respect Kingdom Hearts too, because it is just light. It is a light series, or like a you know, Namora has even said it is what it, himself that it's it's a lighter series for a reason. It's to kind of represent that, um, and I like that it's never really lost that that it, it continues to be this very wholesome, um, you know, like heartfelt series. Uh, pun intended. <laughs> 
But even like normally with a lot of series, um, you know, as throughout the ages, and you know, you've seen this with some of your other favorite childhood games, um, the, you know, the developers will feel the need to age up the story as it grows with its audience and stuff. Look at the Jack series, you know, went from child happy go lucky game to, you know, dystopian, uh, like <laughs> freedom fighter story and stuff, and along with a few others. Um, yeah, a lot of some games are known for getting darker as the series continues on, um, or at least more mature. And Kingdom Hearts has done that in a slight, like more in like tone and aesthetic, but it never really lost. It's it's never really lost like what made it special to begin with and stuff. That that proper balance between light and dark. Um, and I like the series the fact that it, it's kept with that. Um, that it it has not lost its charm. Or it's lightness, you know? That it, it continued to be this wholesome thing. I describe the series as uh, family-friendly, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Kingdom Hearts is strictly a child's series. Uh, children can definitely enjoy it, but um, there's a lot of nuance in the, you know, it, within the plot and the gameplay that it can be enjoyed by all ages, which is, you, know, you can definitely see that within the fandom. Um, so yeah, I would describe it as kind of the perfect family-friendly uh, series, but that's just me. Anyway, in this essay, I will explain that Kingdom Hearts is actually good. <laughs> Hard to believe. All right, <clears throat> let's keep on going. Bum bum ba da 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 ba da da da. I'm not gonna lie, I am more excited to get into because, like, I like Kingdom Hearts One music a lot. Obviously, I like the music in most of the series and stuff, but I feel like some of the better tracks are, like, later in the series. Uh, Yoko Shimomura composed most, if not all, of this stuff on her own in a broom closet for Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> it was really just her. With, like, 30 instruments, and she's like, yeah, I just, you know, did the whole thing. <laughs> Oops, shit. Oh, I don't know if you guys have heard it, um, but I've I've already I, I couldn't keep myself from listening to it. Um, let's see. I think it'd be amazing once people are able to mod this. You can do uh, custom songs and stuff. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um. Oh yeah. So already already ended up listening to this because I got too curious. Um, the Masters of Masters theme is fucking nuts. And I mean that in like, it sounds crazy. Like it, uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure if it's in this game, um, but uh, it's, it's kind of freaky, uh, which, you know, I props to, again, Yoko Shimomura, may she, uh, God love her. Um, it, she's so great at capturing um, emotion and, uh, you know, with very little and stuff. Most of the time she just kind of sticks to piano and strings and it's, that song is really creepy. <laughs> it sounds like it's just like madman energy, uh, which is great. So it's like, you know, the song captures the essence of the character and all of that and stuff. Like Roxas's theme is the most emo thing in the fucking world. And it's awesome because of that, because it captures the character. Um, so yeah, just based off of the Masters of Masters theme. Oh my God. The boss, imagine a boss fight with that. Like an actual boss fight. Oh, oh, oh my God. I think phase two is going to be nuts personally. Um, I feel like Nomura has, has, uh, 
you know, after how KH3 wrapped up and stuff, I feel like he, what he has planned, um, he seems pretty confident in what he has planned you know, moving forward, and um, all, all the pieces are now falling into place. You know, there's a reason why there's, a, like, a chessboard that keeps showing up um, in the series and stuff. The man, I think he kind of knows what he's doing at this point. <laughs> After Remind Secret Ending, how can it not be nuts, right? Yeah, if you guys have not heard the Masters of Masters theme, who? Uh, I'm not gonna hear it. I wanna hear uh, First Time With You. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, assuming, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's in this game. I'm pretty sure it is, because, like, where else did it come from? Uh, let's... Shima Moore is 80% the reason you cry in Kingdom Hearts, for sure. <laughs> uh... Gas, I was VIP. Yes, Jeff. Yes, yeah, so I can keep an eye on you in there. I don't want you to get lost. Uh, <clears throat> again, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I, I do apologize again for all the people who have donated and all the bits and stuff again, and also, you know, chat. Uh, can't 100% keep an eye on everything today. Because uh, I do not want to get spoiled and also uh, can't keep my eye off the video game for too long because I will die. All right. A day in Agrabah? I'm good. How many stars do we need? <gasps> wow, okay, wow, we can... Cool, okay, yeah, fuck that. We're not doing Agrabah. Yes. But we are doing this. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> dun, 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 da, 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 da. I don't know if I'm just gonna get DMC8 on this. We're just gonna mumble with it. This is a free use, I swear. Please don't DMC me, swear. Dun da 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 da. Halloween, 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 Halloween. Spooky, spooky. Yeah, yeah. Halloween, 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 Halloween. Do do fuck. Okay, ah, there we go. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Singing and everything at the same time. Spooky, 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 spooky. Extra spooky. Ha yeah. Boom. Everybody! We're slapping you around. Big smack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, there's Boogie's big old wheel. This fight is kinda cool. Really like the mechanics and the, the dice and all that shit. Okay, we're singing. Ah, uh, da da da. Dun 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 da 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 da. Hmm, hmm. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Man, the, the jumps on that. Really? Watch the circles on this. Whew. Yeah, f honestly, Sora is not a good indicator on when to hit them. It's really just the circles. The boys, like, <laughs> they're barely even here. Man, okay, the song is... Boom! All right, are we out? Are we done? 37 chain, not too bad. Not too bad. It's gonna suck nuking all these clips after the fact. Don't worry, guys. I am saving the stream. Um, but uh, I've, I've, I've already said this. Each month after the highlights have been uploaded and like we everything's properly archived on Super Extra Buns, we are nuking everything on the channel every month. Um, so please go ahead and subscribe to Super Extra Buns if you haven't already to catch all of the content that you do miss because God knows we cannot keep it on Twitch anymore. So... <clears throat> Uh, hello, Bioroxes. Uh, how you liking, Mom? I'm, I'm, I'm digging it so far. I'm surprised, um, that, I mean, you, you really just start. Like, yeah, the plot stuff is, I'm sure, is, is really gonna pick up at the end. So that is a pleasant surprise. I just, you just like, no, it's just a, it's a rhythm game. Yeah, let's do this one. 
So you'll be archiving all VODs? Not all VODs, no. Some streams I don't think are worth saving because some of them are just kind of like, you know, chill, chat out and all that. But um, we do have a, a little system, you know, nice little workflow going in place like behind the scenes, uh, you know, with the highlights of the month. Um, so while we're not archiving every VOD, uh, we are, you know, getting the best moments of all the streams of the month every month. Uh, and then I will archive all blind playthroughs of a game or something, you know? Uh, so it's kind of just keep up to what we've been doing. Um, but, uh, and I announced this in my Discord, by the way. Um, starting next Sunday, not this Sunday, uh, next Sunday, we're gonna have that, a dedicated game discussion day, um, where it's gonna be just chatting, and I'm gonna have, a, you know, I have my Discord right now. Um, people are gonna be... I'm going to be welcoming uh, submissions or any articles uh, or gaming news people want me to discuss uh, on that stream in the Discord. And uh, that's really it. So Sundays are going to be dedicated to gaming news and the like. So I can give my, my you know, my two cents on all the, the discourse and everything that's happening each week. Because, um, you know, when I'm playing games, people, you know, ask questions about that kind of stuff. Like, how do I feel about this? Or do you hear about that? And all that. Um, and, uh, oh God, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to give big announcements in the middle of a fucking song. Ah! Hold up. Okay, hold on. Uh. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm feeling it, guys. I'm in the rhythm. Um Okay, hold up. Let's get through this song and then I'll explain this. Dun dun dun. This one's fun. Ba da 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 ba da 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 Woo! Oh, that was good. That was really nice. <laughs> I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. All right. Anyway, um... Like I was saying, so again, not this Sunday, but next Sunday, I'm going to try to make it a recurring thing every single week. Sunday is going to be a de dedicated just chatting stream for all the gaming news stories of the week. Uh, and the plan is to uh, take each Sunday stream and uh, highlight it and put it on the side channel so we can have, you know, basically like a little news show each week. Um, and uh, also we'll have, you know, also be community day as well if I'm feeling up to it and we have enough time we'll play some smash or something like that with the people in the discord and stuff so if you are in my discord I really really appreciate it if you guys would submit um you know any articles or news rumors even inside of the gaming news channel because that is where I'm going to be pulling a lot of the uh, fan requested stories and I'm going to throw in some stuff in there I want to talk about as well um, but just a day dedicated to talking about uh, the news because often people will come into when I'm playing like a game blind and we're, you know, trying to focus on um, one type of game and people asking me about, you know, other things in, in the gaming industry and all that. So I figured we'd have a nice day dedicated to it. Um, also for the Discord. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. There we go. <clears throat> uh, go ahead. Uh, don't forget, guys, that the information is down below in the panels. All right. Yeah, uh, the Discord is supporters only. <clears throat> but again, next Sunday, not this Sunday, because this Sunday I'm not sure what we're going to stream yet. All right. Defeat all multi attacking Wow, a 90% on that? All right. Well, don't I feel stupid. The Buns Day Gaming Hour? Yeah, kinda. Um, cause it's like, I love talking about this stuff. I keep up with a lot of, like, gaming news discourse on the side, but I've never really had, um, a place to put all of it, or, like, talk about it that isn't kind of sporadically all over the stream, so I figured we just have a day dedicated to it. Um, and then we'll highlight it and put it on the side channel, and, you know, have some, uh, that's, you can have me covering the news. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh, well, guys, should we? Or is this immediately gonna get me, like, just gonged? Am I <laughs> Will this implode my channel? <laughs> Gradient Gardens? Okay. Oh! <laughs> there it is! Oh, it's beautiful. Let's go over to the Gradient Gardens, all right. Hang out in Blur Town, gosh. 
Uh, <laughs> blow it up. <laughs> Play a day in aggro, but I don't want to fall asleep. Ugh. Oh, we get a guest. Okay, fine. I want to want to hang out with Aladdin. Oh God, Frank! Thanks for the ten dollars. Thanks. Uh, thanks for your content over the years and watching. You're yelling since early. Do Holy shit, Frank! Thank you. Think about the ten bucks. Also, monkey with the ten dollars early. Man, thank you guys. Oh yeah, okay. Hey, Aladdin. What's up, baby? Uh, yeah. Get hit, hit the Z's on this one, everybody. <laughs> One thing I do like about this game is I appreciate how short the songs are in the sense that, like, listen, a lot of the Kingdom Hearts songs aren't exactly bangers, you know? Um, and, uh, yeah, they're just kind of, like, background repeating, a little loopy, um, a little repetitive. So the fact that some of these, uh, less, you know, intense songs are a little short is nice. Like, it's not like they're making you do, like, a five-minute extended edition of this song, you know? Well, at least we're gonna get stars for this. But, um... Oh, fuck! Okay, oh, shit. Okay, man, my timing. Come on, Ty. I went to music class. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Woo! I can't believe Aladdin ate Donald, though. Like... Like, we knew he was hungry, but holy shit, man. <laughs> I didn't- who knew Aladdin liked duck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, roast the duck. Okay, real talk, Chad. What is your opinion on duck as a food, though? Because I actually really like duck. Um, or at least it really just depends on how it's um, kind of cooked. But, you know, personally, it's pretty good. Obtained. Reward. Okay. Collection. Oh, rhythm points. A new memory dive song is now available to play in the track selection. Love that for us. Duck is delish. Neutral. Yum. <laughs> Jasmine enjoyed duck too. Oh my god, that's right. Give him like a... Let's see. Uh, Never had it. Never had it. It's uh, I mean like most of the time. If you can go to like most Chinese restaurants, they have it or something. Um... A lot of international restaurants have it. All right. Very nice. Okay. F yeah. Fuck Ab. F yeah. Just, just get out of here. We're getting out of here. Scoop. <laughs> oh my. Oh man. Talk about another fucking snoozer. This is just the tiptoe song. Okay. This one actually, this, well, this one's got some hype behind it. There's a duck pond near me. Maybe I'll go grab one. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, duck. Uh, mm. Yeah, ducks are cute. They are cute birds. Uh, I live uh, near a lot of water and stuff, so there's a shit ton of ducks in my neighborhood. And if you follow me on Instagram, most days I'll, uh, when I go on my walk in the morning and stuff, there's just a shit, there's a ton of them out there, and I always take pictures of them and wish them good morning. But god damn it, don't they taste good? Hmm. I lost my fucking chain, I'm so sad.
Boop! There we go. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, how long is this game? Um, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, technically it's endless because you can just kind of play through it. But uh, according to what I've heard, the plot can be beaten in under 10 hours. Aww. Oh, look at that. He's so happy. Look. <laughs> oh, we love happy Ven. Aw, what a rare sight. Uh, let's see here. Gaming app, thank you so- I'm sorry, uh... Gaming app, thank you so much for the 420 saying this game has no online play with friends. A big sad square, please add- I- does- I thought it does, or is it only local? I'm not sure. I don't- I don't know the extent of the, uh... Online stuff yet, but I will be playing with people if I get the chance. Alright. <clears throat> What's mon- okay, let's listen to Monstros. So far, local online co op is Switch only? Oh, okay. Well, I have Switch, so <laughs> I have the Switch version. That's weird. If, if it's only on Switch, that's because, like, the PS4 or, yeah, the PS4 version on the demo had multiplayer, but it was, you know, local only. Um, But the Switch version gets online? That's odd. I'd have to check that. That because that, like that was like that seems so weird. <laughs> Bunt's gonna pick the ones that don't make me fall asleep. Yeah, guys, only bangers on this stream. You ever just wanna you know take a tour through a whale's intestines? Just an average Friday. Boom. Bum bum. Ah, shit. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this one fucking slaps. we are into the heart very nice very nice <laughs> all right well wow, okay that's how we got on a monstro interesting okay <laughs> there we go Okay, but just how crazy is hard mode for science? Um, it's hard as shit. I mean, from like the few songs that I did play on the demo of hard. Uh, we could see how hard. Yeah, let's do. Let's try this on proud because that was a that was a good amount of notes. Let's just give it a try. What could go wrong? I mean, it's really light up in here though. Who who turned the neon up in monstro? Okay, get ready. Ba bum ba dun dun da dun da dun Okay, okay, my brain's getting messed up. <laughs> ba dum ba bum. Okay, 
Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, maybe we can get through it. Some light toe tapping. Here we go. Yeah. Hey. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I, it's really the jumps. I'm having a hard time. Like I always forget that it's it's B to jump and A to attack and not the other way around because it just flipped around on the PS4. Okay. Um. That's great. We have open up. Knock knock. Oh shit! Not what I meant to press. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Okay, that's okay. Here we go. Well, we get to see this. Thank you. Let's go back to the world tour. All right. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> oh, I oh I have seventeen of the blue. Okay, fine. Oh, f oh, wait, was that on proud? Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, put on my big boy pants. Let's do it. Oops. Oh shit, hold on. Ah, shit, no, oh, okay, my brain, brain, breaking, can't figure out, jump, do not compute. Okay, come on, come on, let me through, let me through, game. Okay, okay, what? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, we were so close! All right, man, I fucked that up, so. Tripped on my shoelaces, my big ass banana feet got in the way. Try again. Okay, fine. I'm gonna put let's put it on standard. <laughs> hold up, hold up. My let yeah, shit. <laughs> ah, oh. damn it, sad crowd. Um Let's do standard. <laughs> Boo, you stink. Oh no. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, Donald's back. Oh, it switches. I do find it funny that every time it gets rid of Donald first. There we are. <laughs> it's so cute. I love that. <sighs> 
when they're happy, I'm happy. That's how I see it. And I lost my fucking chain. I am very unhappy. Jump, bop, 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 bop. There we go. Ah, all right. Threw it. Very, very nice. Very nice. Herc is a bottom. Um, I agree with that. Mega Peg. She, yeah, she sure does. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't think anyone would disagree with that. That Herc's like. The biggest himbo bottom that there is. He's a good ba he's a good bean. Good bean. Give me my fucking stars. Damn it! <laughs> uh how many stars are we at? I think we need one more. Alright. Plowing on through, y'all. They got the Union X cutscenes in here too. It seems like it's like a big homage to the whole series. So yeah, the Union stuff's gonna make it in here as well. It seems like like little cards or collectibles or whatever the fuck everything else is. Okay, what the what? Okay, let's. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. God, oh, this is a snoozer. It's a sli oh, it's, I mean, it's nice, it's a cute song, it's a classic, but um, it's a little bit of a snoozer. I'm fucking this one up, big time. I just want my stars. I should have done, I should have done hard on this one. Fuck, I should have done brown, <laughs> just to make it interesting. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> Does Herc have a swirly nipple just like his dad? Yeah, wait, I mean, like, they have... I mean, Herc's got Cinnabon ears, so why wouldn't he have swirly nipples, you know? Just swirls are everywhere in Herc's. In that movie. All right. There we go. Yeah, no, I was watching Hercules with my roommates the other night, and I was like, did anyone else notice that, like... Like, they have Cinnabons for ears? That's the shape it is. <laughs> the worst part is it's a snoozer from the one world that somehow keeps coming back in every game. Yeah, for reals. Okay, okay, now we're good. Okay, now we're getting interesting. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, let's do standard.
Was there any story I missed? Uh, no, so far. It's just been kind of uh, Kyrie reiterating parts of the previous plots. Um, we haven't seen anything new yet. From my understanding, the plot is at the end. Man, beasts are so fucking big. Taking up like half the fucking screen. We got the ooh, we got the big boys right there. I love Hall Bastion so much design wise. It's so fucking cool. Like I I I think we can all agree that the mystery aspect of, uh, okay, whoa, whoa, all right. <laughs> really offbeat on that, woo! I think we can all agree that the mystery aspect of Kingdom Hearts is really one of its biggest draws at this point, probably why people have stuck with it for so much. I am really fucking up all these notes, holy shit. What the, come on, game. It's like not registering the hit for some reason. Either that or I'm really offbeat. There we go. There we go. Let's just get through it. Um, yeah. And what's not what's cool about the mystery aspect of Kingdom Hearts is that it has been there since the first game. Um and we've talked and I've talked about this a million times before that Namora kind of works like what? 65% in his own little universe and stuff, and then just keeps adding to it. Um, but, uh, you know, he seems pretty obsessed with, like, a lot of stuff coming back into Kingdom Hearts 1, but if you go back and read some of the Ansem reports in Kingdom Hearts 1, like, they, you know, it's just, it, it, it. having everything kind of unfold over the years and stuff and still adding to it and still connecting in Kingdom Hearts 1, it's just cool, <laughs> you know? Like, it, it makes you feel like everything in the series is really just meant to be there, you know? Even if it is, like, thought up after the fact and all that. Like, at this point, I'm, I'm content with it. Because the, you know, the, the, there's parts of this plot um, in Melody of Memory that were mentioned in the Ansem reports in Kingdom Hearts 1, which I just think is just really interesting and cool. <gasps> yes. Yes, baby. Yes. The reports are no about no about the best lore building aspect of the series. I agree, and I wish more people would read them. Um, I asked on Twitter a while back if people read the Kingdom Hearts Three Secret Reports, and uh, in my opinion, too many people said no. <laughs> uh, and you should read the Secret Reports, if not uh, from all of the games, really, because there's really, really interesting, detailed things in there that help you understand stuff better, way better, um, and and reveals as to like you know what certain characters did and stuff. So read the secret reports in general, or Ansem reports, or the, you know, just the reports in every Kingdom Hearts game, because they do come into play later, if not almost every time. Game. Okay, is my controller messing up? I might have to plug it back in. Hold up. Because some of these, some of these inputs are not going through. I can just tell. Some of them is just me messing up, and some of them are like, ah.
there we go. I really do love that the, um, like, basic attack button is... There's three different buttons for it. It's like, I like that I don't have to exclusively hit, like, the left shoulder button if I want to attack on the left. Like, I can just hit all three of the buttons and stuff, and it counts. It doesn't matter which one. Thank God, because that's the makes stuff way easier. Not to mention they have, like, different play modes and stuff where it's just, like, one button mode and all that. So, mm. what a What a fun video game, guys. Gosh dang. Um... Apparently the input has been happened to uh, other people too. It, it seems to be an issue. I yeah, for sure have noticed. There's some weird. It's either weird timing or connection or something. Input lag. Um. I agree, Buns. It's cool how the story unfolds itself through the years while connecting to Kingdom Hearts one. Yeah, and uh, like obviously you know Kingdom Hearts it does not have flawless storytelling. It's just different. You know that's what I'm like. That's kind of like my why I think it's good is because like I don't know other games that have done things like this for as long. Um. I think at this point, Kingdom Hearts is really creeping up into uncharted territory as to how long a video game, like a single video game plot can kind of, like how long that can go and how many entries. That's kind of unheard of in video games. Um, or at least like we don't really know what that looks like uh, considering gaming has only really been around since the 80s, you know, but there are some TV shows um, or, you know, movie universes really that have, have gone along for, or book series. That have gone over for the course of like 30 plus years still adding to you know the the original plot and stuff so we just don't know what that looks like in gaming and kingdom hearts is it seems to be to my surprise still going um it's very weird because like as a kid you know i just got like oh my god the cool kingdom hearts video game and all that it's it sure is fun look at all that disney and i had no idea when i was playing it that it would continue for 20 some years with a plot that is still going and still has so many answer so many questions um so yeah just kind of being on that ride is really fun because uh it's it's still going and it's still interconnected and um i i think one of the things that helps kind of like the kingdom hearts train um, and also to its detriment, just because, you know, a lot of people do get frustrated that, you know, mo every new Kingdom Hearts game kind of adds to it rather than, like, wrapping everything up. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 3, that was supposed to wrap a lot of stuff up, kept adding to it, even though we knew it wasn't going to be the last game. Um, but, uh, where was going to go with this? Um, <clears throat> damn, I lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> what was I going to say? Uh, eight year, 18 years and counting. Yeah, it's still going. Um, oh, yeah, the, the thing about the, what, why people kind of keep eagerly anticipating, like, the next entry is that, and this is also going back to, like, I get kind of annoyed at this point now when people are like, oh, the series isn't planned. Because at one point it did feel like the series was not being planned at all and stuff. But something I've noticed and has made my enjoyment of the series much better when you kind of have this mindset is that a lot of stuff in a Kingdom Hearts game is is designed to be answered in a sequel um and uh it's very i mean at this point incredibly common um you know but it in final mixes and stuff they'll introduce characters and you'll be like who the fuck is this like what the fuck is this person and then in the next entry or the one after the fact they will explain it um so you know the series has been very good at adding intrigue and you and being like what's gonna happen next you know because like it's it's like what the fuck? Who is this? With the Azora and all that. So, I don't know. I feel like in a series that requires you to know the sequel in order to get the one that you're currently playing, that's planning. Isn't that the definition of planning? Um, so, I'm in, you know, big excite for, for phase two because goddamn, uh, Azora sure is a neat dude. Love that. Uh... Oh god, thank you so- What the- <laughs> Holy shit! Um... Shibuya, thank you for the raid of 1,000 people?! What the- Uh, can we turn off- I guess we can turn off follower-only mode? Are we on still follower-only mode? We can turn that off for now to do the raid. Uh... <laughs> go ahead, go for it. Holy shit! Uh, hello everybody, hello! Okay, oh, hi, my chat recommended your channel. Want to say hi? Thank you so much! I think that's like the biggest ride I've ever gotten. Holy hell! Uh, no, no. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. 
Yeah, please, yeah, turn off all our, yeah, turn it off and stuff. Let, let, the, let the raiders do their thing. Spread your legs, everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Get cozy, get comfortable. All right, hi. Okay, well, I guess some introductions and stuff to all the, to all the uh, lovely eyeballs. Thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you. Um, hi, guys. My name is Super Butterbuns. I am a YouTuber uh, slash streamer. I'm currently on hiatus on YouTube, but we're here streaming anyway. Um, I'm a big Kingdom Hearts enthusiast. Uh, been on this pain train since I was a child and, you know, big excite for Melody of Memory and stuff. Thank you so much. If you decide to stick around, um, hi. You know, we, we, we like to vibe out, make jokes. I think I'm funny sometimes. Uh, thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. I hope you enjoy your stay. All right. We're pushing on through, though. Uh, how many more? How many do I have? 25. Okay. Let's keep it going. Holy heck. Holy. Thank you so much. Whew. What now? <laughs> this is... Woo! All right. Thank you. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Uh. Let's go. Let's go hype. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't forget, we have the, um, Boba. We have the shout-out to come in. I added that the other night. So if you do, um, at the night bot, uh, then you do the little shout-out. Or no, I think it's, like, exclamation point, shout-out, and then the username, and then Nightbot will take it over. Oh my god, man. <laughs> now the pressure's on, guys. Then we have to get good. I've been dragging my feet this whole time. Ba -da -da. Okay, but real talk, the bangers are really fun to play. Like... Like, when there's enough, like, rhythm and beat for, like, all the notes to really click. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it flies. Bon, da, da, bon, do, 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 do. Ba, da, 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 da. Guys, I think I'm grooving. Okay, I spoke too soon. I am not grooving. As I say that, I knew I was gonna, like, the second I say something, I'm gonna lose my chain, and guess what happened? <laughs> All right, through it. Not bad, not bad. Okay, everyone, thanks for the shout-out. Enjoy the stream. Thank you so much for the rate again. I hope you have a fantastic night. Really appreciate it. Whew, thank you so much. All right, A, a nice, uh, shiny, shiny A for me, for little old me. Oh, Xander, thanks for getting this up, holy shit. All right, <clears throat> let's keep on trucking. Keep on pushing on through, um, let's see. Is this- a, okay, it's just this one? Alright, it's one out of one. Oh god. Uh, what does she say? Meteors of something unleash my fury, and then she just, you know, starts shooting stuff out of the walls? That's- <laughs> Poor Maleficent. When do you guys think Maleficent's, like, gonna get her- her revenge? Do you think she's, like, ever gonna get what she wants? Oh my god, wow, I'm really messing this up. Hold up. Up. Ah. Yeah, I can't tell if this is input or my controller just needs a better connection. I should plug it in. Thunder. 
I really do kind of like personally that um okay whoa whoa, whoa oh my Ooh, whoa all right yeah okay personally I, I do like that um Pete Maleficent basically act as like Team Rocket okay wow oh man I'm really messing this up okay yeah this is gonna be rough oh I don't want to die here that'd be embarrassing There we go. There we go. A little better. Ba da 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 Come on, input. Input, come on, work with me. <laughs> I'm begging. All right. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> nice little chest. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think she'll never. I don't know. Like, okay, so here's the thing. I think Maleficent is going to play like a really big key part later just because like... She has such strong ties throughout the entire series. I mean, she's in Union, for fuck's sake. Um, and, like, has a whole little plot twist with all that, too. Or, like, you know... Um, she's being strung along. Like, she's a key player. Um, obviously not in Kingdom Hearts 3. She's just, like, running around in Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, but I can't imagine her not being important later down the line. Or at least, like, her ambition being, like... You know, what if, what if Maleficent at the last second, like, throts the real, real villain's plan? She's like, fuck no, and then she goes and helps everybody. Do you think Maleficent can be redeemed? I mean, like, she every now and then she'll have, like, a moment of, like, no, I'm, I'm not that bad, I promise. I'll... <laughs> I'll help out if it means I can get what I want, right? She's just cool, yeah. <laughs> Why is she after the Masters of Masters box? Who knows? And if we still don't even know what the box is. Uh, I've talked about this before, um, you know, with my uh, tinfoil hats on everybody for the Kingdom Hearts theorizing time. Um, my, my current theory is that the black box is um, actually a data black box, uh, similar to like the ones that planes have uh, when they go down. It's basically a recovery box. Um, so I, for me, again, tinfoil hat conspiracy time, I think all of Kingdom Hearts, or at least like everything we've seen so far, has been in a datascape. I think it's datascapes within datascapes, and I think the black box is the source of the, like, you know, is like the crash safety reboot for the datascape, and that's why it's so important. Um, so I don't know, but we'll have to see. Are we in the Matrix now? Well, the reason why I say that is because, um, it's, here's the thing, it's not that big of a stretch, Datascapes and the Matrix, if you will, have been introduced since Kingdom Hearts 2. This is not outside of the realm of possibility. Kingdom Hearts has been setting up Datascapes since the beginning. Uh, let, let's not forget Coded. That's all Datascapes. Um, and also, uh, like, it's a, it's a huge common the like, uh, theme or, like, thing that shows up throughout the series. It's there. This is not a huge stretch. It's really not. Um, what I believe is that... Maybe, again, I could totally be wrong on this. I think the World Ends With You universe is another datascape, and, like, we're playing... It's like a game or a test or something like that. I think the hearts are real. I think the people are real. Um, or, like, yeah, the hearts. I don't know about the bodies, per se. But the hearts are real. But I think the universe is actually a datascape. Um, like, the whole thing is a big datascape. And that Yazora is either from another datascape or is the one in control or, like, is in the real world controlling the other datascapes. There's a lot of evidence to support this, by the way. I'm not pulling this out of my hat. Um, but, uh, yeah. And again, not a stretch. This is not like, oh, my, we're in the Matrix now? Like, guys, g g g the opening of Kingdom Hearts 2 is all in the Matrix. This is not a stretch. At all. <laughs> uh, but we'll have to see. Obviously, we're not going to have answers, and I don't want to, like... I'm not going to be mad if that's not the case. I just think that's where it's going. Um, it, that Because that's really the only way to explain a lot of this stuff. Um, and to have it... Most of it make sense. So... <laughs> You've been saying datascapes an awful lot. Well, it's a thing in the series, so... I'm just saying, if it comes around, um, yeah, I, I told you so. So you think it's like Digital Devil Saga? Actually, I think it's incredibly like Digital Devil Saga. Yeah. Um, by the way, everyone go play Digital Devil Saga. Uh, 
if, if not really close to that, there's actually some weird connection to, um, if you, in the toy box world in, in KH3, you know, with the, with the, uh, Verum Rex, um, or is it, yeah, Vernum Rex, Verum Rex, Vernum Rex, anyway, the Azora box, um, you know, it's, it's an actual game case and all that, and if you go inside the game room, you can actually look on the back of the box and read a little excerpt, um, on it, and the, uh, back of the box, it's like, you know, it's kind of like video game jargon, but it mentions karma? Like, something gotta get, you know, collect the karma to, like, find the true light, which I thought was really interesting just because karma is, um... Is a thing in Digital Devil Saga, <laughs> and data in Digital Devil Saga is incredibly similar to um, uh, how it works in Kingdom Hearts. So, did did uh, Namora watch Digital Devil Saga or play Digital Devil Saga? And he's like, "Wow, really love this concept. Wish I wonder if I could put an interesting twist on that." Um, so, uh, Verum Rex, Verum Rex, Verum, Vernum. I, I've been mispronouncing it. I, I go between like Verum Rex and Vernum Rex, even though that's just my, that's just my dyslexia going at full swing. <laughs> uh, all right, <laughs> hold up. Let me get my Tim Full hat. I just think Kingdom Hearts: The Rising is fun because the series is so off the wall bonkers that really anything is possible, and I think that's the fun part, you know, about theorizing because really anyone could be right. Um. By the way, I, uh, Isaac Fox, thank you so much for the 36 months. Holy shit, how long is 36? Is that three fucking... Three motherfucking years? Holy shit! Watching you has brought my, uh, brought my life... S mm -mm, go. I cannot read today. Watching you has brought my life such a joy. I know I will keep, uh, loving your content for years to come. Real life info, I got my wisdom teeth taken out on Tuesday. Uh, three of them were nearly horizontal, so I've been suffering to- Oh, Isaac, I hope you feel better. Oh, yeah, that shit's rough and stuff. Treat yourself with some nice uh, applesauce, <laughs> if that'll help everything. Holy shit, thank you for the three years. Thank you so much for being a, such a lovely regular. And you said, you're too kind, but you're too kind. Can I get some emote spam in chat for Isaac? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please feel better. Sit back and relax. We got you. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Oh, so the quote from the beginning of the game, the first game, makes a lot of sense. That's what I'm saying. Again, if you if you play Kingdom Hearts with, um, or like most of the series, with the idea that this is all within in a, a huge simulation, um, like a simulation that's designed to work with data, light, and darkness, and hearts, and kind of just see what the fuck happens. Like, it's kind of like, you know, a big experiment zone if you kind of go in with that lens a lot of stuff makes a lot more sense um so yeah i don't know obviously like i don't know what the simulation is trying to do or like what's the point of it and stuff but i just have a gut feeling that it's it's actual it's just data it, a lot of it's data um but we'll have to find out but i've always, I, i've reiterated this several times and stuff like I'm on board for whatever Namora has planned because whatever Namora comes up with is always a lot more interesting than what I think is going to happen. Does that make sense? Um, so I can only guess, I can only theorize with the information that we have, but I'm not going to assume what I think is going to, like, I'm not going to get mad if that's not what happens. He saved me without sparing a thought for what might happen to him. Now it was my time to save him. <laughs> Man, what is this bitch on with these crazy theories? <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie's inside of me. Yeah. Never be separated again. I gave Sora my lucky charm. Oh, thanks for that, Kyrie. Appreciate it. Ah, damn. All right. Okay, let's do it. Another. This is a eerie snoozer. End of the world is a cool world. It's really neat, really creepy. Thunder. 
I want to say, I don't want to get their name wrong. I want to say it's B Mask. Um, a video that I really recommend y'all go watch, though. Um, the title of it is uh, Kingdom Hearts Ain't So Dumb. And, it, you know, it kind of talks about some of the stuff of, like, you know, the plan or, like, why the series works so well. And, uh, you know, it's a good video. I really, really, really recommend it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. I want to say it's B Mask. I want to say that's who made it. Um, yeah, it's a good video. If my mods, if you could link that, that'd be great. Also, um, I hate to do this, everybody. Now that the raids are kind of through, uh, can we go back onto uh, followers only mode? I'd really appreciate that. Let's see. Uh, da, da. All right, thank you so much, Andrek. Uh, okay. Is the channel? Yeah, I believe it is B Mask. Yeah, B Mask. It was a good. It's a good video. Very good video. Um, and uh, that's. I mean, it's something I'd honestly like to make myself in the future. Probably once Phase Two kind of kicks off and talking about it, but um. Let's see. All right, there we go. Uh, do we need, I think we need two more actually. Buns, has any of your theories about Kingdom Hearts come true? I honestly did not theorize much prior to KH3. Um, I actually remember talking about it in a video. Oh yeah, we are through, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Yay! Okay, clear all ten songs. Okay, clear all songs in ten worlds. Thank you. Um, yeah, prior to Kingdom Hearts, I was like, half the time my theories are never correct or something. Um, and uh, I thought theorizing about KH3 for the most part was kind of pointless because I truly had no idea where it was going to go. Um, but uh, now, I mean, like, after KH3, I'm like, wait a second. Hold up. <laughs> uh, but the one that... Uh, I was never against other people theorizing, obviously, but um, prior to Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out, there was a theory that did end up being true that I, I saw prior to. Um, it was a, uh, it had been around for a while ever since um, Birth by Sleep, but people had theorized that um, Ansem, Seeker of Darkness, his big shadow, you know, his little shadow heartless with the band-aids over his mouth, people had theorized that that was Terra. Um, and... You know, we, we had good reason to believe it was based off some subtle hints and stuff, um, but it was never confirmed. And then KH3 came out and plot twist, it it was confirmed. So that theory was 100% correct. Yeah, the cum guardian. Yeah, that's Terra. So um, yeah, there have been theories that have been correct. And I just want to say like, it's something that, I, it's something I've only really done since KH3 because K, yeah, KH3, KH3 awakened her 11 belly button on oh, God. It truly did. Because I was seeing, like, the big picture come until I was like, oh my God. I was like, this is where all this is going. Interesting. Because some of these theories that ended up coming true in KH3, it kind of showed to me that, um, no, the details really do matter. They really do lead up into things. The thing that I wasn't, I wouldn't say it was a theory, but it was a hunch that, um, from the beginning, I believed that Zigbar was more than what he was leading on. Um, and that ended up being true. I didn't think it was, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that person specifically, but I knew Zigbar was a lot more of a big deal than just, you know, what he was leading on. And, uh, Boy, was that true. <laughs> but that's the thing is that, again, the details matter. The hints that you're seeing throughout the series and the tiny nuances do lead up to things. These are big reveals that are hinted at. Um, because the Zigbar reveal was not out of nowhere. There was plenty of reasons to believe that he was, um, you know, a lot more mischievous and stuff. It was much cooler. Uh... Super hard to make strong powers to be just the nobody. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a good, it's a good reveal. So yeah, the the so it, what it what that signals to me is the little tiny details throughout the series do lead up into something, and I've noticed a lot of tiny details that kind of you know back up my theory that a lot of this might be just be all data escapes, but who knows? Who knows? All right, let's keep moving. Damn it, I hit B again. <laughs> 
World tour, get me back in there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The details, you say? You mean the X in every organization member's name? But yeah, we got the sigil stuff that came full back. Everything came back. And remember, is any of this for reals or not? I don't know. Nobody knows. It's hard to say. Okay. This is a boss battle music stage. Let's go over how boss battles work. Okay. It, or, okay, we're doing a little tutorial. Or, okay. The boss battle music stage is you face off against... Okay, characters in a rhythmic battle. Okay, hit targets. Slide, tar slide targets? Tilt the stick. Oh, boy. Old triangle. Ability crystal. Oh, good God. Okay, so it's basically, it's a little bit the same, it seems. All right, we're gonna... Okay. Tilt the stick for those. Okay, for the ups and the ability crystal. Okay. <laughs> and if only I had colored... Okay. Mm -mm. Targets with a line connecting them then be hit at the same time. Okay, I figured this much. Uh, tilt both left and right stick. Okay. Sometimes a hold target will begin... Okay, sometimes a hold target will begin on the right and on the one inch. Uh, change, okay, which button to press in between the targets, for example. If you press A for the first target, press... Okay, yeah, it's like the other ones, too. Um... Just like field battles, the outer circles of the timing. Okay, uh, bosses' characters will occasionally unleash special attacks to try to dodge these attacks at as many targets with dark auras as you can. Okay. <laughs> Trial by fire, everybody. Are we ready to go? <laughs> Oy, all right, let's do it. I am sweating. Yeah, I'm like, damn, you expect me to figure this out on the fly? You're changing the buttons on me now? Oh, okay, ah, uh, okay, the, ooh, ooh. Wait, what? Okay, hold up, uh, uh, shit, 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 okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, it's, uh, it's, 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 okay, oh, oh, hold on, uh, is that triangle? I can't remember. It's triangle, okay, um, okay, and this is, that's triangle, fuck. Mm. Okay, we're gonna definitely gonna have to try this one twice, because... There we are. All right, a little bit better. Okay, what? Okay, we're at the, the the triangle ones. I the green ones. I cannot remember. Oh god! There right, we go. Come on, Goofy! You can do it. Move. We're gonna we're gonna Toads to die, Donald. <laughs> Not bad! No, it's pretty bad game. I don't know, you're giving me way too much credit here. Yeah, it's really just those green ones. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> just kidding, it's the red ones, too. Just hold the two buttons down? Oh! Alright, there we go. Let's try it again. Damn! Me, little old me, fail the first- Shit. <laughs> Donald heal. Yeah, for reals. Submit! Ugh, yeah. Whoops! Uh, play again. Let's try it again. E for excitement. Okay, let's try this again. Eh, okay, there we go. Alright, I see. I understand. Much better. Yeah, for some reason, I thought it was a completely different button for some reason. Yeah. 
Much better. Well, I hope this boss looks cool for y'all, because I can barely see what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Guardian! Activate! Okay, great! Thank you! Both the sticks. Missed that. Okay, run! Run, boys! Run! Not bad. Shit. <sighs> Boom! Teleports behind you. Oh, no, he's out. He's just dead. Okay, we did it. <laughs> there we go. Ansem is now officially swirly. Can I go over some of the hints at the datascape theory? Um, <laughs> I mean, it's it would be hard to articulate without like going into extreme detail. Uh, again, it's a theory because I'm, I, I'm, go I'm going like a little leaps above and stuff. Um, but just based off of all the stuff that's in Union, um, and there has been an excessive amount of uh, computer references from characters to names. Um, again, the the data uh, datascapes have been a thing since Kingdom Hearts Two. Um, is any of this for reals or not? I think is the biggest line indicator that a lot of it is not real. Um, and not to mention, uh, in the Azora fight, I think one of the slight bigger bigger indicators um, is that when you fight Azora, uh, you know it starts with um, Sora's plain glass. Uh, floor and those have been confirmed to be you know it's like a physical manifestation of your heart those things represent hearts your big stained glass pillar um and in that fight Yazora lifts the pillar up and then it changes into data uh like after you go past like you know the watery floor and stuff in the final world so it, there's just a bunch of weird indications that it, it's most definitely like, not most definitely but like data's a fucking thing guys who knows <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, please stop your crazy cat lady. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Watch it be real. And everyone's go, wow, Tyler, how'd you see that coming? <laughs> it's, I hope I'm right. God, I hope I'm right. Make her Google Doc or something. Maybe. There's a lot of proof. I mean, I'm not pulling this out of my ass for the funsies. You know? But the darkness behind the door still threatened to burst out at any moment. With Riku and Nikki on the inside. Yeah, Yuzora felt very much game slash data. Like, he's, um, the theory right now is that Yuzora controls data or something. Um, not to mention Yuzora even says, like, this isn't what I really look like. Like, what, what does that mean? Yeah, but I think, I think it's most, like, data's making up the physical world, but I think the hearts are real. I think the people are real. Um, but, uh, you know, it's either, like, they got avatars or something like that. Who knows? Yazora is the admin of the Kingdom Hearts Matrix? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? That's the fun. Changing teams. Selecting team or the team member. Okay. Characters to play as the music stage of the team uh, you use. Does that affect your score? <gasps> Guys. We're going to play. Where's the days? Where, where? Oh, come on. Hello? There we go. Man, that was long. Okay. Uh, Team Days! Yeah, let's see. Axel, throw it back real hard. Okay. 
Oh, the music here. <sighs> this is the song where they tell um, young Zaynor to fuck off, you know? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Oh, <laughs> look at my babies go! All right, there we go, there we go. Damn. Castle Oblivion really is just like the squeakiest, cleanest looking place. Shit, come on, come on. There we go. I, I, it's not a matter of just like, you just have to hit it and hold it. You don't have to hit it twice and then hold it. There we go. Wait. Boom! Their little jump is so cute. I gotta get a freeze frame of that, like where they're just open the air. Oh, come on. doing outside oh wait no it's garbage day that's what it is i was like what the hell is that sound oh. if you guys can hear that i don't know if you can but there's a big ass garbage truck on the outside of my house right now and it's like <laughs> i can hear it <clears throat> clems did that already oh that's right he did yeah he posted a little picture of him all hanging out jumping up in the air being cute All right, <clears throat> very nice, very cute. There we go, okay. Man, this is, okay, out of out of most of the games, I, co like, uh, let's see, Chain of Memories uh, music is the one I do know the least, um, mainly because like, I've never really bothered to beat, and beat Chain of Memories on my own. It's, um, I do not have a fun time with the combat, so. But this is a slapper. What an absolute banger. Boom, dude. Ba da 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 ba da. It's a big guy. Oh shit! Oh damn! God damn it! What? Okay. Whoop! There. Oh, there we go. There we go. Stay in the air. Thank you, Roxas.
bun da ba da da ba da 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 ba 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 there we go Oh shit, come on, game. Timing. Up. All right. <clears throat> Um, how do you start the final chapter in Birth by Sleep? Are you talking about the final episode? Uh, because in order to unlock the final episode, you need to... Well, first of all, it's very... I think it's impossible in Beginner. Um, on Standard, you basically have to, like, 100% the game. Um, on Proud, I believe you have to complete... You just have to get all the answer reports? I don't... The easiest way to unlock it is to beat all three characters on Critical Mode. Uh, that's the easiest way of doing it. Um, other than that, you have to go and, like, get stuff in the other difficulties. There we go. Oh, okay, cool. Moving Sora forward. Continued his journey in search of Riku and Nikki, and found himself at Castle Oblivion. And he also hit puberty. Using cards made from memories. Of his voice dropped the whole octave. The group continued deeper into the castle. Meanwhile, Riku awoke beneath the castle and was met by a mysterious voice. Final episode should be clearing all three campaigns on in difficulty. It is not. No, you have to. Uh, it does not. Like, no, no, no. It's yeah. It's not the case. You have to beat it. Um, if you're just gonna clear the campaign to unlock it, it has to be on critical mode. Um, any other mode, you do have to go get stuff. Like either all the reports and then like a few other things. You'd have to check. Uh, the requirements are different in each difficulty for the final episode. Oh, damn. All right. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Oh, we're taking a little side... Bokeh. Um... <clears throat> also, Tom, thank you so much for the 32 months. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, I have uh, nearly four Twitch babies. Someone help with child support. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, gosh. Well, I hope the... Uh... <laughs> God, love those babies. Thank you so much, B. <laughs> child support. What's that? That's for the secret episode? I swear to God, it's for the final. I can guarantee you that. Just look it up. Why are you asking me? There's Google. <laughs> I could have... I'm going to look this up. I'm, I swear to God. In order to unlock the final episode, you need to complete all three character stories and obtain all 12 Zayn reports. There are only three optional ones for each character. Unlocking the secret episode will require different things to be done depending on difficulty. All right, beginner, impossible, standard, clear final episode, collect all stickers. Oh my gosh, here we go. Is it? Hold up. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's yeah. That if that's what Google says, because I I remember giving that in my in my um in my birth in my birth by sleep for beginners. Do you remember like talking about that? Because I, I helped people with the series a few times. Well, yeah, the final episode. I wish it wasn't behind all that stuff. I wish it was just beat the stories and and you could do it because the secret episode is also in there. But the secret episode requires even more shit. Um, but the secret episode and the final episode are different. Okay, what the? Alright, come on. Ah, oh, god, that's so cool, his little finisher! Bum, bum, bum. Axel is so flattered, everybody. He's so flattered you're here. Got it memorized? Ha ha, ha ha. Two! Yeah. 
Okay, everybody, what is your favorite um, Kingdom Hearts 2 quote? Shit, come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> Shut up! That's what <laughs> Dance, water, dance. Dance, water, dance is a classic. I hate you so much. Oh, come on. There we go. Anything Zemnis says? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I, I, I also agree with hold up. God damn it. It's a shame I'm playing a video game right now. I'd play something. Hold on. I think I can play... Yeah, this is my favorite. Indeed. Oh, fuck that up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Indeed. Indeed. I have... Um... Oh yeah, this is uh, this is my personally. This is how I feel. Anytime people complain and or take this with like a grain, it's supposed to be facetious. Anytime people complain that like, why the fuck does Kingdom Hearts have a rhythm game? Oh my god, how could the series do this? Oh my Kingdom Hearts, ruined. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> what was that? Xemnas, yo! At Xemnas Inc, Kingdom Hearts is ruined! As Sora advanced through the castle, his memory started to fade. In exchange, new memories of Namine grew clearer. It quickly became his goal to save her <laughs> from her being held captive. Sorry, she really went up to him and just <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Riku was fighting the darkness within himself as he continued through the castle. Lying in wait to confront him was a boy who looked just like him, a replica of himself. Oh, Ky and Kyrie's like, wait, what? This replica was planted with false memories. Oh, yeah, another thing that kind of, um, to, to lead into my, you know, it's a simulation with the simulation, all that. Um... Just to say this, making this clear, guys, anything in the Kingdom Hearts universe is possible. They can just make people. Let's not forget that. They can make people. Like, the replicas are really just, just walking dummies. Like, artificial people. <laughs> Never forget that. Anything is possible. We can make people IRL too. You right, you right. Little time, yeah. The force in you? Oh god. Oh. You guys smell that? <laughs> it's darkness. Oh my god. Riku's on the move. He's gonna track it down. Darkness has a smell, don't forget. Darkness pussy stink, yeah. <laughs> My famous line. My little babies. Oh, Chian, come on.
Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Guys, guys, don't don't eat. What the fuck? I'm dying. Just look over on the side. Why? Why? <laughs> ah, brodies. Not great. Now I'm all. Ah, now I'm nervous. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're through. What the fuck, guys? Mateo Brony with $100 saying, yo, bu Queen Buns Sama, here's some Muns. Love, just cause love. You stay awesome. Oh my god, god. <sighs> Woo! I'll put an alert for that one. Jesus Christ. Can I get some emote spam and chat for that? Also, RJ, thank you so much for gifting the subs earlier. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, hey, Buns, how do you feel about Kyrie's story recap so far? I'm wondering if this might actually be the best uh, KH game for newcomers to the story. Y I would agree as well. Um, well. I mean, like, how about this? I don't think it's a great substitute for the rest, like, actually playing through the series and stuff. But as recaps go, this is definitely one of the most straightforward recaps. Um, and, uh, you know, it's 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 a nice way to, um, you know, interweave the, the gameplay and the plot together. Because we're just going through the story again, right? That's, like, all the music. Um, Brony, again, thank you so much for the hundred dollars. That is, I think it, well, I was on, I was going on the fence, like, should I order dinner tonight? And I think now I will. So thank you so much for paying for me food. Oh my God. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Shit. Um... It would be uh, good to speed speed run uh, the lore. Oh yeah, yeah. No, like as a, as a recap goes, not bad, not bad at all. Um, again, I'm I'm interested to see how she's gonna explain the plot once it gets like actually complicated. Um, but uh, yeah, when it comes to getting into Kingdom Hearts, though, and I've said this a million times, it's just it is better to watch the cutscenes. Um, or experience the games yourself if you want to truly get into the plot and really understand what the fuck's going on. I don't recommend story summaries on text. Uh, and some, this is actually something I will be mentioning in my, my For Beginners, who knows, uh, you know, when that comes out. Um, but uh, Kingdom Hearts on paper does not sound right. It is one of the, you gotta see everything come together. Words, visuals, music, that's how it works. Anything, if you only take one element of it, it just like, what the fuck is this? Kingdom Hearts is, uh... That his memories of Naminé were fake. What is the phrase? Greater than the sum of its parts? Chose to protect her. He prepared for the final battle, eager to finally retrieve his lost memories. Are you playing on PS4 uh, or Switch? I'm playing on Switch. In fact, I should probably put that in the title, huh? Hold on. <clears throat> Let's see. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Kingdom Hearts is to be experienced, not understood. Yes, that's a good way of describing it, yeah. Well, cause like, even then, um, yeah, the plot's not done. Like even super fans don't 100% understand everything. Um, even I don't understand everything and stuff. Like I don't want to be one of those people that's like, I totally understand everything 100%. Like there's details I've missed. I haven't actually played all of the games myself. I've watched, you know, cutscenes just like everybody else in some cases. Um, so, yeah, it just, you know, it's still going. Um, I just, for me personally, I really just, I, I want to encourage people to know that this series is not impossible to get into, especially now. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely anti-gatekeeping in a lot of ways because, uh, like, my entire shtick is to get new people into games. I think that's incredibly important. I want to share uh, the things that bring me joy and hope to bring joy to other people. Um, but uh, for the sake of enjoyment, for the sake of really getting into it properly and, and having the best time, the plot is a big element, or at least, like, the emotional aspect is a big element of the series, and understanding the plot helps with that. Um, so, I just do recommend starting from the beginning and just working your way through, you know? It's just better to experience, um, the whole package instead of cutting corners with this series. Because you are, you know, in some cases, like, denying yourself, um, a lot of fun. Uh, because getting some of these twists as you're going through the series is, is in, in my opinion, one of the best parts about Kingdom Hearts is, like... You know, experiencing the the, the, uh, 
the next game for the first time, and then a big reveal happens, and you get it. You get what's happening, and every, everything up until then makes sense. It's an awesome feeling, and I want people to experience that. So that's why I highly encourage people to um, don't cut corners with this series, you know? Uh, Lord of the Castle, fuck it up. Let's go. It's one of those series that's super fun to watch new people get into. Oh, yeah. Again, like, and seeing people's, like, eyes, you know, like, oh, my God. Oh, this is where it's all going. Lord of the Castle, baby! But I'm also one of those people where, like, if you've just given up on following the plot, you can still have a lot of fun just playing through the series and seeing your, your favorite characters do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to get mad at people for not bothering to do all the, at this point, pretty excessive homework to, to keep up with all the recent shit. Like, I'm not expecting everyone to play Kingdom Hearts to be an expert at it. Um, but I think it's part of the super fans jobs to, or like, not job, but you know, it's for the, for the, you know, people who are really into this shit, I think it always have a, lend a helping hand to explain things or, um help other people get into it easier and stuff. We shouldn't be gatekeeping this series for fuck's sake. Like, it's the happy-go-lucky happy go, D happy go -lucky Disney game. I am getting... messing up. A uh, big time. Uh... So, it's just long, you know? Like, it's difficult to get into... We're not difficult, but it's just, you know, it's a little bit of work to get into because it's so long. Because it's been going on for so long and there's, like, it's in one big plot. What the f- Okay, no, 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 no. Start over. We're starting over. That's bad. All of that's bad. Ugly. Hate that. <laughs> I'm literally just getting beat around like fucking crazy. Alright, let's do timing. There we go. better <laughs> things I'm learning I don't I can't exactly talk and be good at video games at the same time it's either or baby ah this is such a good song <laughs> bum 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 Missed it. My chain! Oh, my beautiful chain! This on Proud seems like... Okay, we're on standard right now, but this on Proud I feel like would be really fucking hard. Fucking banger, yo. Oh. Boom! There we are. Very nice, very nice. Oh no, my chain of memories. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, all right. <clears throat> Very nice. This is a really good song. Yeah, there's definitely, um, I mean, as we go in and, like, a lot of the original character songs start popping up, oh, boy, we're gonna be popping off. All right, what should you guys say now? At Castle Oblivion came to an end. To regain his memories, Sora would have to forget 
all about Namine. He fell into a deep sleep, but not before leaving himself a reminder to thank her when he woke up. <laughs> we murdered some hot people and then forgot, and then we went to sleep, took a big nap. From within the Shroud of Magic, Riku heard Namine. Riku accepted the power of darkness without fear, and he used it to defeat both Zexion and the replica of himself. <laughs> you can't trust nobody, not even yourself. Namine offered to use her powers to lock away the darkness in Riku's heart for good, but he refused, choosing instead to wield its power as his own. Riku and Nikki set out from Castle Oblivion, continuing along a path where darkness lies hidden within light. The road to dawn. Bruh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> very cool, Riku. Very cool. Got the whole squad laughing. All right. <clears throat> Are we... Shit. Complete form missions? Uh-oh. Wait. Cleared, yeah. Uh... Uh, gray star is not blue? Ugh, okay. Wait. Do I get the... How do I get silver stars? Is it just- is it just the Twilight Town one? Okay. Don't forget, guys. Hold up. <laughs> yes, I am for reals. I literally can't read. Bum, 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 ba da da. Da da. Oh. What a lazy afternoon indeed. Inside playing video games, not a care in the world. Oh, fuck you, dancers. Alright, guys, now we've got the nobodies on here. What is everyone's favorite nobody design? Because for me, it's probably the samurai bitches. Or the dragons, or the, like, the lancers. Da, 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 da. The Lancers are pretty sick, they are. The sickest. The jumpiest. Gotcha. Oh, this is cool. Oh, look, 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 we're going inside the, uh... There's the computer lab. <laughs> I really do love that they, you know, this is... They put a lot of effort into these assets. Um, and, you know... Like, they didn't have to recreate all of this and stuff just to, you know, go through the set pieces of all the worlds, but they did, and it's really nice. It's just really good background. Go. Like, I'm just thinking of how lazy they could have been with this game. Um, and I'm like, I don't want to give, like, Square Enix a pat on the back. It's like, thank you for not making a super lazy product or something. But, um, you know, as, as rhythm games go, this has higher production value than most. All right. Um, duh. All right, there we go. There are the silver stars. Thank you. Um, thank you for the collection card. Okay, and the second song, please. And yeah. It's nice to have a side game that's a real side game. Yeah, yeah. Like it's this feels like the most um. 
like probably the most unnes like least necessary plot we've ever gotten. I mean, there's still net like not. I don't know if it's necessary plot, but there's still plot in here. Um, but it is nice that this is for the most part just a a solid ass rhythm game, acting as a as a nice little recap and a little send off, a little bridge, you know. Thank God Kingdom Hearts has fucking poggers music because, oh my god. Oh, uh, look at Axel run, guys. Look at that man charging right at you. not saying much. I'm just like, guys, I'm having fun. Oh my god, can you believe it? <laughs> oh shit, fuck, damn it, messed up that last one. I hit, uh, I hit B instead of A. Damn it! <clears throat> what are your thoughts on SMT5? Um, I'm glad they gave us a fucking trailer and a release date, thank god. Um, uh, aesthetically, I think it looks really interesting. I can't say much besides that, though. Um, I really hope they give us some kind of gameplay trailer, because if anything, I'm really interested to see how, um, Shin Megami Tensei 5, uh, if, if they change any stuff in the battle system, um, what they've done, uh, are they sticking really true to SMT, like, like, previous designs? Like, is the press turn system just coming back in full swing, or is it kind of be, like, reinventing the wheel? Because, like, one of the things about SMT is that it was kind of, like, you know, had groundbreaking ideas like our smt3 and stuff was a bunch of brand new ideas that uh stuck with the series and stuff so i wonder is smt5 gonna be like taking a lot of creative liberties and kind of like modernizing um mainline smt or is it going to stick really true to its roots i don't know um but i bet you know the press system is going to be in there and it's just going to be moved around a lot but uh i mean who knows i just want to see gameplay at this point <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Moving on. You can expect P5 elements in it. Well, the funny, I mean, Persona 5 took elements from SMT3. So if anything, it's just, it might just go back to its roots. Um, actually, most of the elements in P5 were taken from SMT3, or a lot of elements. Uh, negotiations, the baton pass is basically the press, the, the press turn. Um, and a few other things as well. So yeah, it just, it, who knows? Who knows what SMT5 will do? Uh, Hellfire, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. Hope you have a good one. Oh! Oh, baby! Oh, honey. Oh, she knives. How you doing, B? How you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, we're partying hard right now. We're popping off. Absolute banger, everybody. If you got a cat jam and chat. <laughs>
I really love that you can tell, like, which ones would be hard as fuck on Proud or something. This is standard, baby. Damn it, alright, missed my chain. I fucked it up. Have you played SMT4? I have not had a chance to play SMT4. Or Apocalypse or anything like that. There we go. Oh, a nice, ooh, a gold A. Thank you. Not perfect, but much better. Okay, that works. Close enough. Keep it going. In Twilight Town, Roxas was supposed to be enjoying his last week of summer vacation. But he kept having dreams about Sora. <laughs> <laughs> and all sorts of strange, unexplainable... And then he got thrown into the Matrix. Ah, damn. That shit... Mm. Roxas ended up at an abandoned mansion. That shit sucks. he remembered that... <sighs> ...of Organization 13. He also learned that the world he knew was a fake... <laughs> yeah, this is called the instant crying theme. Featuring Roxas. With one day left... Composed by Yokoshima Moore. Roxas's summer vacation was over. <laughs> His first and last summer vacation, and he never finished that fucking homework. Oh, damn. Okay. Shit, baby. Uh, okay, so what do you need? Ten for this? We have eight. Oh, okay. Let's just keep plowing through then. Oh, god damn it. I hit B again. <laughs> ah, this is fucking me up. A part of me wishes I just got the PS4 version for the buttons. We have to. We, we have to. We we legally have to. And we're gonna do it on proud. All right, let's fucking do it, baby. Bum ba dun dun. Oh, shit. Okay, there's way too much happening on the screen. Fuck. Come on, Roxas. Throw it back. Let's go.
Yeah, okay. Too much happening. Can we get through it? Can we get through it? Woo! There we go! All right! N80! Nice little chain! Proud! Blind! First time! I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs! Oh, God! There was way too many people on fucking screen! <laughs> Very nice! Very nice! Let's go! There we go. Yeah. Hey, a nice little A for that. There we go. Holy shit. Shit. Mm. shit. I'm gonna treat myself with a bite of my calzone. Because <laughs> I had that for lunch. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. And yeah, we've gone for three hours. What the fuck, man? We've been flying through this already. Thank you guys so much for joining me, by the way. I appreciate everyone being here. Um, I know for some people, you know, they might even have a chance to get this game. Just, um, you know, wait a little bit. Um... Wanted to see the story now, so I appreciate y'all joining me, hanging out with me, watching me suck real hard, because God knows I'm not the best at rhythm games. <clears throat> How do items work in this game? I honestly don't know, um, but I haven't need one so far. Is this game really worth the $60 price tag? Um, well, you know what, with the $60 game price tag discussion with a lot of games, it, uh, it always boils down to, is it worth $60 to you? Um, as, uh, it's, how about this? Is exactly what it's advertising itself to be. So if you want to get it first and experience it first, that's kind of what you're paying $60 for, is to get it day one. Um, so personally, I don't mind paying $60 for this because I'm experiencing, I'm having fun. Um, but, uh, Personally, I was hoping that they would price it at 40 just because, you know, rhythm games, even though you can get a lot of hours out of them, more so than some, you know, story-driven games, um, you know, it's not like a full, full patch package experience in some cases, you know, it's just not as big and bold. Um, so for me, yeah, I'd say it's worth $60, but, uh, you know, have some peace of mind that Square Enix puts their games on sale constantly and I mean constantly um, you can get the story so far collection I mean like all of the Kingdom Hearts games for $30 a lot uh, also could you turn on the game audio a smidgen I can do a smidgen I don't want to be too terribly loud because we are trying to avoid the DMC system um, let's see here here we go a little, little bit of a bump we'll do one more one more bump there we go um <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Uh, but yeah, yeah. The, the, as for the six dollar price tag, um, if money is short and you're not like a hundred percent on board the Kingdom Hearts pain train, I would just recommend to wait a little bit. Holiday season's coming up, and this most definitely will be on sale early next year. I can guarantee you that. Um, it's not like a Nintendo game where it comes out sixty dollars and it's gonna stay sixty dollars. That makes sense. So, um. Yeah, if you're in it for the rhythm game part, g go ahead and pay for it, you know? Isn't the DMC thing only for songs with lyrics? I wish it was only- I wish it was, or at least like that straight up, that simple. Um, we don't know. Uh, currently, right now, the uh, the DMCA uh, situation with Twitch is terrible. Um, there's a bunch of like, what counts and what doesn't. We don't fucking know and really, really have no system to monitor it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just guessing because Square Enix is pretty loose with uh, music blocks and copyrights all together. They just don't want you streaming like the famous, famous songs, but all of the original music, I'm sure is fine. Cause they, I, I'm sure Square knew people were going to stream this. I mean, like for God's sake. Um. Ooh, sure. Uh, let's do, let's, yeah, let's keep doing proud for a little bit and see how I keep, you know, if I can hold up. Yeah, Twitch be like, just mute audio. Okay, yeah, so for those who don't know, um, on Twitter, they, cause you know, they've been going, their PR people have been going back and forth on it. There was a little thread where, you know, from the official Twitch people being like, um, 
one of their solutions to if people were fearful of getting copyright striked for, you know, say you're playing like GTA or an open or like a sandbox game that has like a radio that plays licensed music and stuff like that. People are asking like, okay, how do we get around that? Um, so Twitch is like in in their in all their wisdom, we're like, just mute the game audio if you're so scared of it, guys. Come on, like that was. Th- these are their answers, not. Like, we're going to put a better system in place to protect you. Just, like, just turn off your sound, idiot. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's a mess right now. Twitch doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Mute stream, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, I... It's How about this? It's currently a mess situation, but I can guarantee you after enough pressure and enough complaining from the creators, Twitch will have to do something and make some kind of deal with record companies to not, I don't know, copyright strike anything and everything and actually kind of protect their users a little bit. And the people that actually make the site, you know, worth coming to. Because Twitch better watch out. I mean, if they botch this thing and they make it to where, you know, all the music is just like an absolute minefield and uh, no one, like, is everyone's constantly on edge about their channel getting nuked because, you know, just random sounds because they just have a terrible system in place. Twitch better watch it because people have other options. They, there are other st sites that handle this stuff better. Um, and, uh, you know, all you need is give a good peep, give creators a good reason to leave and they will. Woo! Okay, new idea. We're gonna play the snoozers on Proud. Because I like this song. You know, good song, good eerie song. It's a snoozer. This song doesn't exactly have banger energy, you know? Oh, wait. Does it have to do with Twitch growth? It, it is exactly linked to Twitch's growth, yes. Um, so, you know, they've they've gotten away with being able to play copyright material, or streamers have gotten away with um, being kind of laxed about copyright material on their streams. Um, because, they're like, Twitch's solution to this before was just mute the audio on the VOD or something like that if it was copyright material. Um... But because Twitch has gotten more popular and uh, there's a huge amount of money going through it now, record companies have noticed, like, oh, this Twitch site sure is making a lot of money. I wonder if we can do any stupid shit in here. Um, and, uh, and again, the copyright laws are already outdated for, you know, the digital era and all that. So, um, yeah, because Twitch has gotten more popular, record companies have started to get sort of cracking down more. And uh, that's that's kind of why all this is happening, because now Twitch is getting pressured from all these outside sources about, you know, these copyright strikes and all that. And they're like, oh, you know, they don't want to they don't want to cut a deal with these people. So they're they're putting all the responsibility on us um, for for stuff that for the most part is kind of out of our control, because like we're just here to stream the games and some half the time the games have stuff in there. that's copyright. So it's just like you're copywritten. Music industry, once again, shitting in other people's bed. That's really it, yeah. Um, you know, and, but that's just how the laws are written right now. We're kind of at the mercy of the corporate machine to work its shit out. And, um, you know, the customers to kind of rally the base and be like, uh, no. <laughs> uh, we don't fucking like this. It's kind of nerve-wracking. All right. <clears throat> The professional music industry has been rat fucking artists uh, spaces for a little bit. Oh yeah, they do. And they hate streaming. Like record companies fucking hate streaming like Spotify and Apple Music. Um because like where's their cut, you know? They're not they're not needed any most of the time record companies aren't fucking needed anymore. Um most artists can totally like just self-publish, you know, because they have Spotify, they have streaming, they have the internet. A lot of artists nowadays get their comeuppance by, you know, 
posting their music online and then more popular people stream that music or expose that music therefore growth um you know i, I can point to a ton of uh huge artists right now I, I think i mean doja cat's one of them she started online uh post malone started online a lot of these come like people just started online <laughs> um and got popular because their music was be allowed to be used freely i cannot like tiktok guys tiktok is fucking massive um and uh, for artists at least to blow up because you know their songs go viral they go into memes and stuff like yeah, got doja cat blew the fuck up because say so got turned into a huge tiktok meme because people were allowed to just freely stream the music out in the open and stuff and not to worry about a goddamn copyright system so yeah the record companies are the ones doing this because they just want their fucking money all i know most artists artists you know people who actually make the fucking music they don't mind their music being played openly for other people because chances are if it's a banger people be like who's this and then you tell them who's this is and then they go find the song you know so the nature of streaming and the internet is great for growth and exposure for actual artists but it's terrible for the money making side and you know that's where the that's where the record companies are and that's that's why all this crackdown stuff has been happening it's really annoying oh yeah cupcake too uh, yeah, there's tons of, like, that's just how music's going, but it's just, the laws and the companies are not going with it, you know what I'm saying? It's dead-ass free advertisement, mm -hmm. Yeah, but but record companies don't see that. They're like, Give, stop using our shit, that's ours. <laughs> Even though it's technically an artist who's totally probably fine with it being played openly. <clears throat> All right, let's keep on going. What's ooh, yeah, hold up? What do you got? Snoozer. Mmm, not a snoozer. Play on prep. Yeah, the problem is that you know the law is on the company's side. That's that's just the only reason, you know. Oh my god, Beast ate Sheon! She's fucking dead! She ain't eating ice cream with nobody right now! Ba da 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 da. Well, this isn't that much of a snoozer. It's a little bit of a banger. Okay, for some. Damn, alright. Okay, woo! All right, ooh, boy. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. <laughs> Close. Ah, oh, fuck. Nah, damn it. All right, messed too many up. Shit. All right, new idea. New idea. Um, not a total snoozer. A slight banger. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Should we do it again on Proud? Should we try it again? Because I, I was definitely missing some of those notes and stuff. Was, the timing was off. Standard E. We should do standard. Slight banger. Proud. Then we should think I'm proud. Try it with an item? Oh, good idea. Um. Okay, let's try it with an item. Or do I... Increases the item drop rate, restores HP by 30 when the HP is at 40 or below. Okay, let's just do a potion. Okay. Yeah. Let's just see how the potions work. Honestly, all the Kingdom Hearts characters need therapy. They sure do. <laughs> Every single one of them. Okay, a little better. Slightly better. Whee! 
Ready! Okay, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Shit. Woo! Alright, go through! <laughs> we used the item, it looks like. <laughs> some of these- some of these songs on Proud like to do the downbeat of the song, I've noticed. It's not even like the actual beat beat of the song. Which is where it gets tough. Because in a lot of songs, you know, there's the beat, and then there's like the downbeat, which is the beat within, like underneath the beat. <laughs> it's like the beat in between the beat. Beat. You know, the beat. All right. Uh. All right. Uh, yeah, this one's, this is, this is a banger, so we will do standard. <laughs> beep, boop, 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 bop? No, I think you mean boop, boop, bop, beep, boop, boop, bop. <laughs> da, da, da. So, um, when Kingdom Hearts... Two was uh, before it came out, and they're like in the marketing phase of it. I was obviously watching it like crazy because I, you know, beaten Kingdom Hearts one. I was super excited for Cage two. <laughs> um, one of the first uh, clips of <clears throat> clips that they released for the marketing, all that was the fight in Beast's castle, um, where you have to like inside the fireplace room. We have to fight the uh, Heartless for like a certain amount of time before Beast shows up and gets mad. Um, and I just remember that vividly, and seeing that for the first time, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, if I could just get my timing right. But it was like back in Japanese. <laughs> so like, I was hearing Japanese uh, Donald being like, where did they go? And just remember, I watched that so much. And the song was, uh, was the thing that plays during that fight. I just remember it so well. I think Cage 2... I don't think I've ever been excited for a game more than that. Getting that for the first time was just like, oh my god. Euphoria. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Mom says it's my turn to play the mom. How you doing, bloody? How's it going? Have you gotten it yet? Or have you gone through it? What's What are the deets? How do you feel? Do I still have items to clip? Do I have it turned on? I don't think I do. Don't think so. I think we're good. I have it. So far, so good. I mean, it's exactly what like what we thought we were gonna like what we thought it was going to be. It's a rhythm game through and through. All right, keep pushing on, guys. But I am father. I have to wait till tonight. That's right. Oh, you take care of your baby boy. Oh yeah. By the way, I sorry. I have to. I gotta. I gotta remember to do this. <clears throat> I just added this command, so I'm gonna give a little test run here. Sorry, right, buddy, I gotta embarrass you and be like, go check him out! <laughs> go check out my boy! <laughs> there we go. Halloween, uh... 
Hold up. The absolute, the most banger of the bangers, baby. I take it back. This is also one of the most bangers of the big <laughs> The biggest banger. Okay, hold up. What else do we have? We have... <gasps> I lied! The actual bangers of the, uh, <laughs> the bangers. Okay. Um. Oh, it looks like I do have items turned on. Okay. Uh. Should we do it on proud? I think I'll do it on standard. I'm gonna do it on standard. It's a banger. <laughs> no, wait, no, this one, no, this one. Yeah, they're all bangers. I forgot. It's fucking Kingdom Hearts. Did you guys know the music is good? Did you know? For my sanity? Yeah. Do 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 do. Gotcha. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, mess that up. There goes my chain. Just like that, it's gone. <clears throat> it's interesting that they chose it for this world in particular, because, like, this, this song plays in, like, every world. <laughs> I guess they're like, uh, what's good with, um, I guess, like, all the good Halloween songs are in the other ones, so fuck it, let's just put the Rowdy Rumble here. I imagine this, I'm proud. It's pretty tough, but very fun. I'm really excited to go back and replay everything and, like, try to get good scores and shit. Because, like, as rhythm games go, most of the... I like playing rhythm games on, like, smaller systems, more portable systems. I, I don't like exactly, like, sitting in my office or something and playing one of these. It's, like, they're on-the-go kind of games for me. Um, so, like, I've just never gotten into a ton of rhythm games in the past. I think, like, the one I, I, I played the most with the, was, uh, Guitar Hero 3, which I was surprisingly very good at. Um, but, uh, yeah, as rhythm games go, I just haven't really had one that I got into that, you know, just felt right to play on my spare time. But this feels up there. This is getting cozy. All right. <clears throat> There we go. Uh, how many? Sixty. Okay, we have sixteen. All right. What's your favorite Heartless? Um. Hmm. I actually don't know the name of them. I'll point them out if I see them. Um, but it's the uh. They're from KH1. They're in Hollow Bastion. It's like the big boys with the big wings. And they drop like three big health uh, healing orbs and stuff. I really cannot remember the name of them. Those guys. Yeah, they look like little lizards with like big square wings. The wyverns? Yeah. I've always liked their design. I was like, damn, that's cool. That shit cool.
Alright, I, 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 I do like asking chat, reading the room on this. Alright, everybody, what is everyone's favorite, uh, did I ask, like, World in Kingdom Hearts 2? Have I asked that yet? While we're here? And, uh, yeah, what is everyone's favorite World in Kingdom Hearts 2, and why is it Timeless River? I don't know why my brow's like triangle for some reason. <laughs> there goes my nice, delicious, nutritious chain. Boom! Uh, definitely Timeless River. Good choice. Final World. Hmm. Uh, the world that never was. Uh, Pride Lands because Lion Drift. Interesting choice. I respect it. Land of the Dragons. Mulan's World is cool. I wish, like, I think, like, you know, with most people and stuff, the second visits in Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 2, a lot of the bosses are like, Ugh. but, um, yeah, Mulan aesthetically is, I, I think there's some cool-ass fights in there. I, I do like the Mulan world a lot. I, I think, like, when it comes to discussions and stuff, Kingdom Hearts is really fun to just talk about because everyone's got favorites for different reasons and, you know, there's just much to talk about. A lot of shit. Okay. <gasps> Let's fucking do it. Uh, gonna be an unpopular one because I love the the world that never was because of the Roxas battle. That is, yeah, very. It's a very good, very good fight. Oops, shit. Do, do, do. This is a big fat banger. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Holiday. Fuck shit. Alright, lost my chain. Getting too into it. Do you put up your Christmas decorations before Thanksgiving or do you wait? Um, I normally wait mainly because I always forget like what day it is. Uh, but. <laughs> oh shit. Um. Yeah, I wouldn't say I'm like a big holiday person in general. Like I, I forget, I'm bad with holidays, I'm bad with birthdays, I'm just bad with like knowing what day it is. Um, but for Christmas, like I don't decorate up that much. Like I have a tree, uh, I have a little plastic tree that I always set up each year. Hold up. <clears throat> this year specifically, like no one knows what fucking day it is. Oh, there goes the potion. <laughs> Just a little topper. Oh, Xanderx going in. <laughs> um, yeah, no, for, for Christmas and stuff, I don't normally do a whole heck of a lot. Um, but uh, I posted a few pictures of it. Each year, I always set up the same tree. I have a black Christmas tree. Um, I put red lights on it. And my Christmas topper is uh, Vincent Valentine every year because he's the best angel. 
so that's what I do for Christmas. And I don't even put a wreath on my door or anything like that. But yeah, but there are pictures of that already because I do it every year. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Even happier holidays. Jazz it up. Okay, this seems like it would be hard as shit. Um, we'll just do. We'll just do proud. Let's see. Um, Beast, thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, saying, hey, Tyler, it's been a minute. Just wanted to tell you you're awesome, and today's my birthday. <gasps> Is it? Happy fucking birthday. Can I get a big old birthday for Beast? And chat, thanks so much for the biddies. Glad you're here. Big birth in chat, yo. Happy birthday is you! Ba -da -up. Hey, -oop. Oh, yeah. You know what? With other games, like, normally at this mark, I get really tired, you know? Like, I can only really game for so long until I get, like, kind of out of it. Or at least, like, stream and do everything at the same time. Yeah, it drains you after a bit. This? No, I'm pretty feeling good today. Except with that note I just missed. Ignore that. Bop, bop. Slap, slap. Whap, 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 boop! Music, uh, cage... <laughs> music food for the soul? I agree, wholeheartedly. <laughs> boom! Very good, very good. Again, Beast, thank you so much for the biddies. Happy birthday. Glad to see you again. Because this game gets you in the mood. It's true! Uh, like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts really just, like... <laughs> it's lightning in my veins. It's my happy place. Like, it's one of those situations where, like, people, oh, you know, you only like Kingdom Hearts because of nostalgia or something like that because you're childhood. Yeah! Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's been a big part of my life, so, you know, I have, um, I have emotions towards the series for sure. Uh, <laughs> it's just, like, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts is, um, obviously a lot of discussion, a lot of heated debates and stuff, how people feel about it, and, um, a lot of it's valid. Like, I, I, I like discussing the series, I like talking about some of the stupid shit it's done wrong. Um, and it's definitely not perfect, God knows, but it's just one of those things where it's just like, hmm, makes me feel good. And it's still going, and it's something I, could, I, it's something I could look forward to, you know? Like, what is the next Kingdom Hearts style? It's been, out of a lot of stuff in my life, Kingdom Hearts has been one of the most consistent things. Um, and I'm grateful for that, you know? It's, it's been, um, a big part of my life. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it. I still have the items turned on, but you know. <clears throat> uh, I mean, even without nostalgia, it's freaking Disney. Yeah, even with well, that's the thing. Even without nostalgia factor, I know some people who have started the series for the first time in their adulthood, and they're like, "Yeah, I like it." So you know, it's it's one of those things where like I'm not really sure what people expect from me when it comes to like giving my opinion out on the series, because, like, it's always going to be subjective and all that. Um, 
I just find it when people say weird shit, it's like, oh, their nostalgia for the series is blinding them to the criticisms or something like that. I'm just like, what? <laughs> No, I can see them, I just don't care that much, you know? Because I'm here kind of for the the enjoyment of it all? I think I've said this before, but like the whole point of enjoying something is seeing the problems and liking it anyway, right? Isn't that, isn't that it? Am I, mi am I missing the point? <laughs> Or am I supposed to go at this thing with like a fine comb? Oh shit. And just grind it down with analysis until it doesn't mean anything anymore, you know? I'm like, where's the line? Where does that stop and start? Oop shit. That was good. Very sexy. Very nice. <laughs> you never miss, except for that one no we don't talk about. <laughs> Clearly, Buns, you're just not supposed to be happy. Yeah, well. Well, and here's the thing. Like, no amount of me complaining about it is going to make that kind of stuff go away. That that discussion, um, you know, that kind of attitude or, pers you know, perspective on game and criticism and analysis will always exist. Ooh! What the fuck? Oh, that keyblade. Okay, shit. <laughs> like, what the f- Day's assets, huh? All right. <clears throat> um, I feel like a, uh, a part of the backlash of K-Tree was because a bunch of people who never got into the series, had never been on the outside looking in for years, saw the latest game was coming out and decided to jump in, and then got alienated by the plot It wasn't for them and uh, screamed that it was bad. Yeah, yeah, well, that and a combination of people, newcomers, not understanding what was happening and being like, this is bad. And then on top of that, diehards getting angry that certain things weren't in the game. Um, and I feel like the reason why diehards were so mad is because um, it wasn't a matter of the fact that KH3 was actually bad. It was just disappointing in areas. Um, and because so much of the game was really good, it was like, you know, it made people frustrated because they felt like, no, those things could have been in KH3. Like, the rest of parts of it were really good. It just needed some of these, like, tinier details. I mentioned this in my review. Um you know, uh, talking about that and stuff, but, um, yeah, there was, there wasn't a good amount of people that did jump in from the start, because, like, wow, this KH3 looks really fun and fancy, I should just play it, and did not understand what the fuck was happening, and did hold that against the game, um, and I, personally, I feel like that was incredibly disingenuous from certain reviewers and stuff, just because, like, it, clearly the plot requires prior knowledge of the series to follow it, you know? Um, yeah, but with the whole Kingdom Hearts 3 debacle, at this p at this point, with the Remind being added, um, a lot of the discussion has geared towards, like, yeah, there was some f there's some problems in Katri, like some flubbiness, and so a lot of it was fixed in Remind. Um, and it's a part of the series. Like, we move forward, you know? It's there, and the series continues on. That's how I see it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was, you know, certain parts of the discussion. I just feel like people were missing the point with a lot of this, or were, like... Um, completely just like a, like certain things that people were mad at KH3 for were things that had been in the series since the beginning. And I was like, why are we mad at this now? I don't get it. Um, but you know, obviously gauge your own enjoyment in here. I'm not telling you like, it's, you have to like the game. Um, I think it was just a big combination of stuff that just fueled the fire for something that ultimately was still a decent product.
But I was a little annoyed with people not being fair or at least being honest that like you you can just admit that you didn't understand it. You don't have to say it's bad. You can just say you didn't understand it, you know, because chances are you probably didn't if you didn't know the other things. <laughs> like, you, it's neutral to not understand something, really. I don't feel comfortable calling something bad if I don't feel like I really understand it. Does that make sense? But some people are totally fine calling something bad if they don't understand it. So that's just the difference, you know. But it's all entertainment either way. Okay, even in this game, the cars are a bitch. <laughs> okay, I gotta go with the beat. Shit. Okay, whoa, whoa, all right. Uh. Okay, woo, all right. Ugh. Please, please let me live, I beg. <laughs> I, I plead. Okay, get me out of here. Are we done? Nope. Yes? Through? Clear? Yeah! There we go. The problem is, this is the internet where... Uh, the place where you need everyone to know that you are right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that, you know, and again, like, me me complaining about people complaining about Kingdom Hearts 3 is not gonna stop people from complaining about Kingdom Hearts 3 and stuff like that. All I can do is throw my opinion out there and hope... It either resonates with others um, to help see a different perspective. Um, and, you know, or just, again, piece of entertainment, giving my thoughts and feelings about it. It doesn't really change a whole heck of a lot, you know? <clears throat> Funs, uh, have you been enjoying Demon Souls? I have, I have. I will be streaming it uh, my second playthrough here once I beat uh, go through it the first time. Um... Yeah, the thing I can say about the Demon Souls remake, and I mentioned this already, it's it, it's stupid faithful. Like, it's really just the same. It just looks way better. <laughs> uh, hey, Buns, how's the Switch version? Very smooth. Super smooth. Okay. <gasps> okay, let's do it. Okay, banger, absolute banger right here. All right, I think after this song, I think I'm gonna take a slight break, uh, get some water and probably order some food. How long would we go in? Uh, yeah, close, ooh, God. Lost track of time, having too much fun. It's so weird seeing like Roxas and Axel in the Mulan world. What? This didn't happen in the original. Hold on, Kyrie. I think your memories are fucked up. Okay. Oh god, okay, oh, 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 the side of my face is itching. Oh no, oh no, oh no, okay, ah, thank god. All right, Whew. close one, everybody. 
All right. Uh. Are we in no spoilers mode? Because how do you feel about the, the story this game introduced? I don't know yet. We haven't gotten to the end. I don't know. Because uh, we're still in the recap stage. All right. All right, all right, hold on. Let me, um, yeah, we've been going close for four hours. I am probably going to take about a 10 minute break just to get some water and to stretch a bit. Um, before we do that though. Do you believe the rumors of Disney working on a cage series for Disney Plus? Um, I just see them as really wanting to do that, to be honest. Um, so. Yeah, for it is a rumor. Yeah, there was like people going around like, oh, there was a TV show confirmed. No, it, it is 100% a rumor. Most definitely, probably not even a thing. Um, personally, I wouldn't like that. No, I think Kingdom Hearts works better as a series, as a game. Um, and uh, seeing that, like, mm, I mean, like, unless it was like the comics and they turn the comics into a, a TV show, I feel like that would work, but. For the most part, yeah, I, I just, I kind of prefer Kingdom Hearts being in its own little world. I think the further <laughs> Kingdom Hearts is away from Disney management, um, the better. Because, like, Square Enix having a hold on this and just using the Disney properties, whatever, and, like, in whatever way that they're allowed is better than Disney being in charge of Kingdom Hearts, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, I think at this point, I think we can all agree that um, Namora is the brainchild, and if he's not involved, it's just not going to feel right. Uh, let's see here. So I'm just going catching up on chat. Um, let's see. <laughs> this game to me seems like a celebration for the legacy fans and like the elevator pitch for newbies. All the cutscenes are basically uh, cliff notes for the entire series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. It's Namora's baby. It is Namora's baby. Big, yeah. <clears throat> all right uh okay okay all right so let's um i'll leave you guys here with the we did it music <laughs> we're gonna go take um a 10 minute break everybody go stretch go get some water go get some food and we will be right back all right uh so sit tight nobody move no one leave i swear